tick tock. Ladies and gentlemen, the clock is finally struck. Something. I don't know where we were. Going with that, excitement has finally reached its ultimate form. Like a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Genshin Impact. And I mean, oh my god, we always missed it. We always almost just miss it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live! Uh, the Legend of Heroes continues, this time with Trails from Zero. Uh, also known as, uh, I believe it's Zero no Kaseki. Uh, don't, don't get on me about, uh, Japanese. It's bad enough Shire Tone will get mad about me about saying something wrong there. Chelsea Ann, welcome on in. Oh, snap! We out here. We out here indeed. Where are we exactly? Like, where are we out here? Um, yeah, I'm way too excited for this game. Um, I didn't, I didn't even think that was like a, a possibility. Uh, and then, you know, out of, out of nowhere, when, when things look like they were coming to an end. Yes, this is a, uh, this is a beer glass. Yeah, yeah, so none of us are in here then, right? Like, that's just not a thing, right? Anyways. What better time... Then 11 o'clock on a Wednesday morning, crack open a Japanese Sapporo, just to get into it, just just to immerse myself, because that's it. I, I want to throw out a giant thank you. Uh, th this game is not even um, a possibility unless you speak uh, Chinese or, or Japanese, and I'm sure there's a couple other um, wonderful languages that you could you could learn. Denise of the Vargas, Pan Toast Professional. Um, uh, it's called the Geofront team. Um, if you just Google Geofront, it'll take you to a lovely site, and they uh, they basically fan translate uh, these games for free. Um, and they do a fantastic job of it. And this is our first little uh, 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 I, I jump on into it. Uh, do I know any dad jokes? No, no. I I, I should probably up my dad joke. Um. I have to give us some good. Now I now I feel bad that I don't have any. I feel like dad jokes are like blonde jokes, right? But I just don't have any. Regardless, I, maybe maybe something will come to me uh, eventually. How is Denise? And and was that the important question of asking me if I have any dad jokes, or was there still a? Um, was there? Yes, it was. Oh, now, now I've disappointed, and I and I and I'm so sorry. Why are people messaging me now? Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like they're little like gotcha jokes, aren't they? I have a good one. Have you guys heard about the new restaurant on the moon? Does it end with excellent food, no atmosphere? <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, that's a dad joke right there. That's a You finished Final Fantasy VII Remake today. They removed the recording block from the game ending, so I managed to record nice videos. And I'll come back to... Wait, there was a... There was a... A recording block? Your therapist gives me the best dad jokes every time we end a session. My... That sounds wonderful. Uh, just making sure we got everything set here. I did check this beforehand, but, you know, we are, we are with the Xbox One controller. Sound effects is not over uh, intrusive. Auto advance. Look at that. It has auto advance. <laughs> um, enable additional voice acting. I, I don't know what that means. I probably, yeah, I don't think I have an extra thing thrown in there. So, I don't want to get too in the tooth of, of what everything here is. So, uh, I, I think we're, I think we're good. Jump on in. Hit that new game. So, this follows up literally, uh, from the last game, Trails, uh, in the Sky, the third. But I don't think it's about, um, the people that we played in. I think it's with new peeps. 
All right. Yeah, some games. Oh, oh, you mean that? You mean that? Because I keep forgetting about the, the the lack of a capture card. I keep forgetting about that. Regardless, new game. Uh, normal, normal, normal. Not dad mode. Not not normal. Let's get in there. Another one, for instance, why was Cinderella so bad at playing soccer? She was always running away from the ball. Keck W works on so many levels for these. Well, Tio, Lloyd, hey, look at like look at this. Just the sprites, everything just looks. <laughs> oh my God, like like little screes, folks. Yeah, Tio, hello. Well. It is as I feared, the high elements, time, space, and mirage all indeed present. Just like the tower of the devil, I feared as much. No, wait, that's a different person. They don't have all the same, uh, you know, British accents for whatever reason. This will be a difficult operation. Damn it! Everyone is feeding on into uh, keeping Shadowcard happy somehow, but um, I guess that means we'll run on into some more natural scum yeah denise varga also getting rid of his points oh man i'm getting chills down my spine already understood knowing our enemy will try to ambush us let's keep your eyes peeled now right off the hippity hoppity jippity boppity this screams from the previous game, this looks like we're in like uh, the bottom of a church. Uh, if you remember, like uh, Kevin uh, and Sister Reese, where they where they sort of kept like um, the orbments and whatever. Oh my God! Like auto advance running, beautiful. I love it. I love it already. I'm in love. Uh, can we touch the fire? No, because then that would be hot stuff. Hot stuff coming through. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna stroll on down these. Wait, do we have, oh god, what was that? Just hit something. Okay, so we got Lloyd, Ellie, Teal, and Randy. Do you think Randy gets a little randy at times? Probably. They got EP, they got HP, it looks like they got CP, but but BDB. Everything is set. Alright, uh, that's just nothing. Okay, can we, which way can we go? Which way can we go? Can't go that way, blocked. What are, what are we like? Well, I mean, I guess just, okay, not that way. We're going to follow the fires. Follow the fires. That's where we're going to go all the time. Don't have that fall on you. This reminds me of, like, uh, does anyone remember? I'm showing my age here. Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars. And this was, like, when you went into Bowser's Castle. And, like, you had Mallow and Princess Toadstool and Gino and, and all those people. And then, nobody remembers anything? No. It looks like it, okay? That's just, that's just what got me all excited there what so the question is we, our character looks like they have suspenders I'm, I'm assuming that's what those things are he doesn't look like he's he's overly plump to where suspenders are needed so now i'm trying to think uh you know what do you have suspenders for if you don't if you're not holding up your pants maybe they're not maybe they're just something that's going to hold something is it's like paper mario or so um Denise, it was sort of like the beginning of Paper Mario before Paper Mario was even a thing, if that makes any sense. Suspenders are fashion. Oh. What in the world? Oh my god, you know what he's thinking there? He's like, more stairs? Oh, for freak's sakes. Like, into the red mist? That looks like a lot of death down there, perhaps. Um, it could be any of that. That shaft looks never-ending. Where could it lead? Ladies, are you ready for... A shaft that's never ending. I'll let you uh, answer that. <laughs> Wolf says he's going to join on in after his meeting. Shocking. And he has a lot of them today, unfortunately. Well, that's okay. That's okay. You gotta make that money somehow, right? From up here, I'm guessing it's at least a good 500 art. I mean, apparently Chelsea's looking for a uh, a 500 arch deep penis. Uh, unfortunately, Wolf Slayer probably doesn't have a 500 arch deep penis. I don't know who does. I don't even know what an arch is. It's probably a kilometer or something. I don't know. Meter, foot, inch. The longest shaft indeed. Oh. Someone will probably just tell you to sit on it and rotate or something, you know. Uh-oh. Anger? T 
Tio, what's wrong? But are you alright? You look so pale. Oh, I'm fine. I have cat ears and blue hair. I'm 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 in, I'm excited. It's just that this place has triggered some of the most unpleasant memories. Of that place you mentioned before? You mean those bastards hide out at the Republic's Western Board? Wait, are we fighting like the Star Wars people now? The Republic is reliable. It's, it's just scum. I was going to say uh, Alliance scum, and now I don't even know. Maybe the shaft was built to a staircase towards Genihana of the Benihana. I remember that being mentioned, except it was a magic move called White Gahana. And we just kept saying Benihana because it was funny. Where Idaeus was renounced and the devils were worshipped. And to gain their trust, they sacrificed humans under the veil of ceremonies. Oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that is disgusting. So, is that what all that red mist is from? It's just people are jump. You know, there's... They're either jumping over this railing or they're being sacrificed and thrown. I throw them into the ledge. Get them on out there. All right. For the sake of those who helped us come this far and for the girl who's waiting for us to come home, it's our duty to shatter these twisted delusions and bring them to light. We'll put an end to all the suffering they've caused. Lloyd! Boy, the... Man, ain't this smell here that's gonna off me. It'll be one of your cheesy speeches. But I'm with you. I think you Mel. Our enemy is like a spider, hiding in the shadows and pulling the strings of its web. I mean, it could be like a puppet master or something, right? Let's bring him on into justice. We can't be defeated. Let's make it official. Lloyd Bannings! And the four members of the Crossbell Police Department Special Support Section. Whoop! That was a lot to lot to say. Apparently, we're police officers who wear suspenders, and one of us is named Randy. Um, this is the type of shit that the police do in this in this game. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's a... Huh? What? The artistic scary wasp cool story, Bob. I always love the clips. Huh? What happened? Uh, Lloyd? That looks like Lloyd, except now we don't know his name again. Um, we're on a train? Where am I? Oh, thank God. What a scary dream that was, right? All right. Yeah, they have the most ridiculous you are. They are. That's probably one, like, advantage they know that no one's ever going to have those ever, right? I said goodbye to my aunt and uncle. Double on, checked all my luggage, and boarded the train. Is it just me? You take a look at the seating on this train, right? It looks like you got, you could fit, arguably, I, can't, I guess you could sit, you could sit three people wide. Although they're fit, they're fitting two. Is this like a super wide train? Wait till the drink girl comes. Are you alright? Oh great, the old people are getting on us. They're like, are you okay? You jolted right awake there, son. You look like you're having a nightmare. You feeling okay? I'm, no, I'm fine. Just you know, a little sleep and hard. That's all, that's all. Had the strangest dream though. It's masturbating furiously to a shaft the size of 500 Selj. I don't know what happened there. A hey, dream, eh? Yeah. Were you perhaps being swarmed by hordes of sexy ladies? You know, now that you mention it, there was a shaft involved. Can't say it was uh, that good of a dream. Unfortunately not. Not enough shafts. Oh, don't tease the poor boy, dear. How about a cold lemonade? I mean, how about a Mike's? cold lemonade how about that how about a mike's hard lemonade maybe of the blue freezy variety how nice that these people are allowed to bring their own beverages on the train i guess so and my own cup ah yeah feeling better already well, i'm glad you enjoyed it judging by your appearance you aren't arabonian no i'm not from bonerville population someone in my chat um 
we must be from Crossbell. Sure. So, if I'm led to believe everyone from my chat that 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 knows of that, you remember my my utter pronunciation failure of trying to say liberal, liberal, whatever the fuck it is. That was like a a country where the 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 trails games took place. And we're from Crossbell. But I think those are the Cold Steel games. I think these games take place in a different country. So it's all at the same time or a little bit after each other. But so maybe it's er Era Bonerville. It, it could be anything. It really could. Oh, yes, sir. Lived abroad for a while, but I'm moving on back to the city. Are you two also from Crossbell? Yeah, I just took a trip to the Republic. So we're on our way back now. If you're coming back from living abroad, I doubt you even recognize Cross... So are we coming on in to Crossbell? Maybe these are the Crossbell... Maybe these are the Crossbell games and the Cold Steel games are something completely different. Maybe those are about the Bonerville place. The city has changed drastically over the past two or three years. Well, I thought that might be the case. I did pass on through the city a few times by train since I moved away. They really added a lot of uh, high-rises, haven't they? Boy, that's quite different from the villages that we sort of were playing around in before. They have, after all, Crossbell's always been the leading trade city in Zamuria. Stop using big words. Crossbell's, the ever-growing finance sector, has made foreign investors more willing to provide funding for development. And it only continues to skyrocket, or as they would say on Wall Street Bets, TO THE MOON! After the non-aggression pact was signed a little bit more than a year ago. Department stores, office buildings, Mira investments pouring on into the places all over the city. And these new facilities, especially those dildo facilities, are huge conveniences. But people still struggle to adapt to the city's rapid growth, so they get the fuck on out of here and go back to a small little village where they'll be happy making farming equipment or something, I don't know. Everyone's always busy with this or that. It's as if we've become slaves to time in Mira. Oh, pardon us. We've just been carrying on. We didn't mean to ruin your return. No. Job accomplished, old lady. We're fucking pissed. No harm done. Uh, what about you, Chelsea Ann? You, you, you rock in the world of meetings today? Or you, do you have uh, maybe... I, I doubt you have the day off, right? It's the middle of the week. You have expected... You have expectations to... To... to to do a bunch of things probably for the CIA and the FBI and, and uh, DEA and whatever it is. My friend told me similar things in his letters, but no matter how much it may change, Cross Bell's my home. It's that one thing I gotta I gotta appreciate as an old man, not really old man, but young. Know. This text, absolutely readable. You know when you get I haven't reached that age on my phone yet, but I I, I swear to God, from Trails 2 to Trails 3, they shrunk the font. I don't know why, so it's nice to see that they, they, they made this bright at me here. No meetings today, thankfully, but I'm off at 12.30 today to officially become a resident of Maryland, finally. Wait. So, like, do you have to do something exciting? Like, is there some type of Maryland uh, uh, song you have to sing? Um, like, you have to go to a government building to, to show them that you can be that? Oh. How, how long are you given that? to do is it like a long time or do they want you to get that all done not that the pandemic i'm sure didn't help because it's sort of like different all over the place like i know here in ontario like some places like you have to get it done within like six months other places are like a year some places are like you know three years something like that compared to bright young men like you these newly elected politicians are just well side with the Empire of the Republic. They're nothing but a bunch of megalomaniacs. So, uh, they want you to do it within like 60 days of moving here, but I've been here for two years and two months, so go fuck them, right? You're probably gonna get yelled at by some, some old lady at the DMV pissed off that, you know, her large government wage, the pension... And you, she, you're the only customer of the day, and you pissed her off just by walking on in there. She had her feet up. She was enjoying life. Thank God we can trust good old Mayor McDowell. Oh, dear. Calm down. 
Looks like he's having a stroke. Sorry about that. He tends to get carried away when it comes to politics. That sounds like me, except I'm not an old man. Have you taken a look at my hair? Not a, not a, not a lick of gray hair here, folks. I'm, I'm like 22. I'm young, young. Yeah, I'd be like, look, lady, just give me my license so I can buy a new. <gasps> Are you getting it? Wait. Exciting times buying a new car, by the way, if that's what you actually are doing. Do you need a Maryland license to buy a car? In Maryland? You can... Denise, we're not going to take any of your, 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 your garbage theories that you can see a gray hair. It's probably just a filter that happened or something. I don't know. But I'd rather hear about the current affairs. Don't, don't. Remember that, remember that show, Current Affairs? Hard copy, remember? No? Uh, I'm, a, I'm an avid Crossbell Times reader, right? Are we, are we, am I going to sit down with my wife and, and fill out the Crossbell Times crossword on a Sunday morning amid our coffee or tea? I wish they'd dive a bit deeper into the issues with the Crossbell diet, though. It's, what, just a bunch of Crossbell McDonald's sitting around everywhere or what? You don't. However, in order to have it titled <laughs> and registered in Maryland when I buy it, I do. Otherwise, they title it and register it in Ohio, and I'd have to pay a shitload of fees. And then tr Ah, I see. So it just makes more sense to cut out the middleman. What, what car are you getting? Or SUV, truck, electric vehicle, bicycle, Vespa, are you buying? And is it like legit brand new or like... When you say brand new, you mean brand new to you. Does 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 Swoony McWolf worthy not drive? I'm getting a 2021 Toyota Camry. Legit brand new. It's always exciting. I was very excited when I bought my legit first brand new car, which is the current car I have now. Like I had, a, you know, I got a job, bought a bought a reliable laugh chuckle volkswagen um and then that died um and then i was like you know what let's spoil ourselves. let's get a new vehicle like legit and yeah it's been really good i've only ever had yet used and passed down stuff so i'm excited but stressed oh man toyotas <sniffs> wonderful i've been i've been eyeing a toyota um i wanted to get a venza uh as my first car, but they, they were a little pricey. Oh my god, anime is happening. That is a fucking giant ass train. Um, it was a little bit more than I wanted to spend at that point in time, so I I I, uh, I picked up the uh, the Hyundai Tucson, and I like it, right? But I, I'm eyeing the Rav Four, but I don't drive a lot, therefore my my car has been very good to me. Knock on wood. So. I thought we went over this. I thought we there, there. So there, there are cars made in Canada. We have a, we have. Uh, there's a Toyota plant. There's a Ford plant. So like to say, like you know, Ford's American, but there, there is, there is fact. I think they make. I want to say it's the Edge here, the Ford Edge. Uh, there's a Toyota plant nearby here. I don't know what they make here. It could be the Corolla, Camry. I can't remember. I'm not too familiar, but. But there isn't like a, like like I'm saying, like Toyota's Japanese, Nissan's Japanese, Ford, GM, or, or America. There's no like Canadian car company, if that's sort of what you're getting at. But we certainly make them here. Absolutely. First car I actually owned, and that wasn't passed down to me, was a 1998 Camry. And it lasted me over four years and it almost broke 300k, tried and true. Yeah, I mean, that's what they say. Like... Uh, Hondas are another good thing. They're huge. Passengers bound from Liberal and Remaferia by airship. Please make your way to the airport. Oh my god, this place has an airport? Or do they mean the landing port? Additionally, Persian Murian Railroad Corporation bylaws. This train will remain at Crossbell Station for 30 minutes upon arrival. Passengers bound for Bonerville. Please have your entry application ready for the inspection penis officer. But no Canadian men... No, no. Like, Canada doesn't have an equivalent to Chevy or Ford called the... We should. We should, but we don't. 
So, Jordan, do you think that if there was any Canadian car brand, it would somehow be connected with the Maple Leaf? That would probably be like, you know, like on the hood, you have the H for a Honda, the, the weird symbol for a Toyota, which is like a circle in the middle circle or something. It would absolutely be a Canadian Maple Leaf. Just slap daddied right onto the hood. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so... I, I'm, it's funny, so, I don't know if this is, like, a thing in the U.S., um, but because I don't drive a lot, and I have a, a, a new car, relatively, like, it's, I bought it in 2017, it was a 2017, um, but because I don't drive, and because when I take it in for services, they see how much kilometers or miles to you guys, like, that I don't drive, it screams to them, like, oh my god, this is a fantastic used vehicle that we could sell, right? Because people love low kilometers, right? So I started to get those letters of like, Hey, how would you like to step on into a brand new Hyundai? And we'll give you a really great trade-in value, right? So I'm getting a lot of those like almost monthly. I got to take my car in for another oil change. So I was going to like look at some of the new stuff. But like I said, I'd rather not have a car payment. So... Uh, those are always fun. So, I might... I don't know if I'll drive this thing into the ground, but... I'd like to have it for a few years. I got the extended warranty, so it's good beyond that. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll wait until that's gone, and then maybe I'll look at trading it in then. I don't know. I made sure to keep in contact with Cecile, but... No buts. Oh, I thought, like, for a second there, like, that guy in the back was, like, eavesdropping on us or something. Guy or Guy? Do you think it's Guy or Guy? Cecile? I'm assuming I am the child in the middle. I'm finally back. How many years ago was this, was this photo, though? Back to Crossbell. Our home! Our home and native land. Oh my god, anime with Japanese voices? Trails from Zero. Finally, it took us uh, a half an hour to get to the actual uh, title screen. Oh my god, they follow like lights and everything. Repabric of cover. Yeah. So, from what I know, this game was on the PSP. And then, I think it's coming to Steam, but only like in, 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 in China or so. Like, I don't, I, it's very confusing. It, you had to go through a few hoops to, to, to get this stuff. Like, uh, The Trails of Azure, this game's sequel also is like a, a Japanese or Chinese only game um, I had to buy from a Chinese website the digital game um, the, the the fan translator the geofront team actually got on uh, with with this I think it was called Joyco land um, I guess they never accepted PayPal they didn't even care right they actually like messaged them and said like, "Hey, look, we're we're making an, a, an English fan translation of this game. Um, could you maybe allow people to to use PayPal to buy your game?" And they're like, "Sure." So that's how I bought it. It was like seven bucks. It wasn't bad. It worked. I just made sure it worked. That was all. Uh, but yeah, uh, this game was not as hard to purchase. Um, there was other avenues um, that were a lot easier than than going to a a Chinese website, but you know, so I'm, I'm assuming that if the Chinese authorities already didn't have all of my uh, uh, information, they have it now. The prologue, the special support section. Okay. I'm reporting you to the CIA as we speak. Okay. I look forward to being arrested by you and Swoon Whirly Wolfie. It'll be fun. I'm getting like Harry Potter vibes here as we come on into the Crossbell Station. 
And I always say that because when I was at Universal Studios, this was like how they did the Harry Potter world of you took the train. I guess, like, again, I haven't seen a lot of the Harry Potter movies outside of maybe a little bit of the first one. But, like, it was very cool that they took you into the world. Why am I the only goddamn frick frack that's got a bag coming off of the uh, train here? Am I the only one? The Hogwarts Express. Yes, thank you. And what was, like, the station? It was, like... Was it like nine and three quarters and you, 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 you pushed your bags through the wall and then you came out on the other side or something? So we are at Cross Spell City on Station Street. Welcome on in. Thank you. Oh yeah, get on into the Ying Sept, whatever the hell that is. Armory Shop. The department store times? Sure. Ca this place has cars? Roundabouts? An horrible store? This place is considered, as far as I know, I don't think a lot of time is, has gone forward from the Trails third game. But already, everything that's happening right here, like the fact that they have cars and, and trains where we didn't even see that shit outside of an airship. That's all we saw in those other games. It's already blowing my mind. Things have certainly changed. What, so they have cars now, Lloyd? I can hardly even recognize the shops. I really want to see the security footage of the place where Platform 9 and 3 quarters was filmed and Harry Potter fans ramming the wall every day. I want to say, if Baker ever comes in here, I'm fairly certain that in London, probably, England somewhere, I think they actually legit have the Platform for that like not like the film set i mean but i think like they've actually made it because it's, he is from there right i think that's like a legit thing it's got to be i think i've seen it somewhere what's that building over there oh that's just the horrible store just open up I, they do i know folks who have been there have they tried to do what denise said and just started ramming everything into that wall and just being you know very annoyed about it they handle everything from the la latest Orble device. I, if you were looking forward to Orble Hour, by the way, <laughs> I think I might have a handle on it, finally. They got the doodads from Erebonia, Calvert, Library, even Epstein. No, oh, we don't speak about uh, Jeffrey Epstein. You name it, they got it. Just tour things. You know, I've also noticed a lot more cars on the streets. You would hardly see them three years ago. You're sharp. But even now, they're only ever used by rich folk. Shire Tone! Arkonichiwa! Oh, hiya! How are you? How are you? Lucky for us, public transportation has improved dramatically over the years. So, yeah. Well, it takes 30 minutes to reach the hospital to the south by butt. Feel like you might want to be a little bit closer to the hospital. But hey, you know, 30 minutes is better than no hospital, right? It's amazing how much can change so why has there been like this giant jump in change like why was why is liberal liberal reberu it doesn't matter um why are they so different or or has three years passed since since that garbage <clears throat> let me carry your luggage home at the very least oh for god's sakes stop Stop sucking some penis here there, Lloyd. We, we don't need to be carrying these old people's luggages everywhere, okay? Yeah, we can't be late on our first day of work. Wait, I thought we were a cop. But that was like in the, the, the prelude, and then we woke up on a train before we were getting roofied by these old people. All right. Oh, so that wasn't even our bag. Oh, we were just being really, really nice carrying someone else's bag. Now I feel like a jackass for making a point about it. Do you have a place to stay? If you don't, I can introduce you over to the Inn on E Street. It's a lovely place. Uh, I got my accommodation set up. I'm living in a fridge box, actually, so I uh, will be okay. The homeless people have been really nice to me. My things have probably already arrived there by now, so... Uh, oh, you don't say. Yes, we do say. 
The two of us live on near the end of East Street. Feel free to drop by in case you need anything, and we'd be more than happy to lend you a hand. I know someone who lives out in the mountains, and their closest hospital is over by an hour by helicopter, and the nearest grocery store is like a four-hour drive. So I'm going to assume that Amazon does not come by with Prime deliveries ever so often. That's always the one thing of like I'm not I'm not a I'm not an, a mountain man or out in the the fucking boonies as they would say. I like to be in the city, hot town, summer in the city. Um, I can see how people can like that, but I would hate to think that like something happened to you or something happened to like one of your loved ones that you know you live with and you had to like your closest hospital was an hour away or to get something like you had to like really plan shit could you imagine you forgot milk <laughs> i'll be back tomorrow i forgot milk see you tomorrow honey i can handle boonies but this is like way in the shit like i think mythic has sort of said she i think she lives in the boonies because she doesn't really have anything nearby her Oh, that's a cat on the rooftop. So it's still in one piece. I wonder if the Crossbell Times moved into something a little bit less decrepit now. I mean, is, is there anything even in this city that's decrepit? It, it doesn't certainly look like it. Sure brings back them memories, though. It really sticks out next to all these new buildings, though. Where, where are the old buildings? Well, better get a move on. Lloyd took a letter from his pocket... Officer Lloyd Bannings, you are assigned to the Crossbell Police Department Special Support Section. Please report in for duty on the designated date, the CBD HR Department. Special support, eh? I don't remember that name ever popping on up by time during the police academy. Funny movies, by the way. I wasn't even sent a uniform. What, what kind of police department is this? Oh, God. It's probably some made-up division, like where Chelsea and Wolf Slayer work or something. Oh, well. Guess I'll find out soon enough. Good thing the police department hasn't moved since I was here last. Yes. Let's do this. Still don't understand the suspenders thing. Despite the fact that uh, Denise Varga has said they're a fashion statement, I don't buy it for a dollar. I might buy it for two, though. Two Canadian loonies. Or a toonie. The Crossbell Police Department. The CPD. Boy, that's a lot of room for the drunks coming in at night, eh? You enjoy suspenders, eh? Like, you mean like you enjoy them on, like, other people? Or you enjoy them, like, keeping your pants up? Maybe they're used for other things. I'm not sure. I haven't followed on to. How's Shire Tone, by the way? Hard to believe that this is going on to be my workplace from here on out. On other people. Fair enough. Fair enough. Wolf Slayer, Wolf Swoony looks swoon worthy mostly. There's a stroke. With suspenders. I guess people just accept that the chances of something bad happening that's also extremely urgent are pretty low. It's a way of life. Howdy ho! Wolf Slayer, welcome! I hear you are swamped with meetings, but you would be here. I appreciate that, buddy. Good to see you. It's been a while since I've seen you, peeps, because we've sort of been all over the place. We've been, you know, we're nailing down Trails 3, and then, then there was, like, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Persona themes, which, relatively all speaking, yesterday, we finished it up. I'm not going to get into spoiler territory to, to, you know, to appease to Chelsea, but, um... We have some finishing touches to make up, and uh, then we'll move on into the answer. But yeah, like I'm glad we got into this. Yakuza will be on the cards. Uh, there's a lot of games. Uh, I've been crushing it lately. We have been crushing. Denise Vaga, crush. Yes. Uh, Wolf Slayer, I've just been informed that you won't wear suspenders for Chelsea Ann. What if, what if she came to you and just said, Honey... Will you just wear suspenders for me? Like, sort of like what I'm picturing is Wolf Slayer um, wearing the Borat swimsuit with the suspenders thing. That's what I'm picturing. I don't know if he looks like Borat. Borat doesn't scream to me uh, 
swoon worthiness, but hey, I'm not I'm not I'm not bobbing anybody's uncles out there. What? You heard me. Just got the last few tasks, then we dive on in for another 30 hours of Oh, like that's your guys' plan? Nice. Slaying the Spire. Is that the card game? Like you have a it's like you're going through a dungeon but you're throwing cards out instead of punching people in the dick or something. Maybe I'm thinking of a way different game. We'll get back into it soon. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. I'm not expecting too many issues getting into something like uh, the answer. I have to remember I got to turn on a few things for the... Uh, uh, for the mods and whatnot, but yeah. Yeah, it's the card game. It's great, but hard. Like Darkest Dungeon hard? Even on dad mode or what? Konnichiwa! Oh my god! Konnichiwa! <laughs> this is gonna be my game where I'm learning all of my Japanese right here. Gyre Tone, you be on alert! My god! I can't wait to just say everything so wrong going forward. Uh, well, yeah, of course you can help me. Why are you wearing a flight attendant's hat though? My name is Lord Bannings. First day on the job. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, is that right, eh? That's wonderful. Always happy to see new members joining the force. But, uh, it's pretty abnormal. There's no information in the system about a new recruit coming on in for assignment today, which means go home, you bum! You're out of here! Fired! First day. We don't need you. What kind of uncaring parents name their child Lloyd? What's worse, Lloyd or Randy? You weren't supposed to be uh, going to the Crossbell Guardian Force, were you? Uh, no, I'm positive I was assigned to the Crossbell Police Department. If you need proof, I can show you my detective qualifications. I earned. Wait. Is this like some weird thing of like. You get your qualifications to be a detective at the police academy before you're even a cop instead of like learning on the job or what? Lloyd, in my opinion, Randy makes me think of South Park. I cannot ever not laugh at Randy from South Park. He's always up to no good, but it's always like, I thought this was America, you know, Bat Dad and all that jazz. You know, he, he, he was, uh, um, is he still... Um, oh, what's her name? The, the singing actress group where he, he thinks that he was her, not a group. Lord, uh, Lordy, Lord, 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 Lord. Yeah, if you need proof, we got the qualifications. Randy is usually Randall. So, yeah, Randall is far, f I mean, Randy, okay, so. So what's worse than Randall or Lloyd? See, he wasn't the best character, like, early on, right? Like, like it's almost like the, the South Park writers realized, like, a few seasons in that we've got to go oh, just past the the four kids, right? And now it's it's like The Simpsons. Like, now, now stories are about everyone. Like, Randy, how many episodes has he just had by himself, right? It's fantastic. Jordan, you need to go back and watch South Park. How many times are we, like, going to have to tell you? And not every day you have a newcomer come on in this qualified. Yeah, it means they're going to add another zero to my paycheck. It's still Lloyd, eh? I don't know about that. You say it's harder than Darkest Dungeon except for uh, maybe Blood Moon difficulty. Well, thanks, thanks for that little stabby in there. The runs are relatively quick. I think my longest run was two and a half hours. Runs range 40 minutes to two and a half hours. Not bad. Yeah, luckily, uh, I just looked over to the uh, person beside me, and I uh, I cheated and uh, looked at their answers. Apparently, they were right as well, but they probably went on over to Libro or something. I think Randy was supposed to be the control parent, the sole normal one, surrounded by everything, and it just didn't happen. I, th I think, like, the breakdown was, like, when he had to go work at the Walmart. That was, like, the, 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 the beginning of the ending of, of Randy coming uh what he is today that's my opinion that's my opinion uh pardon me for asking but do you know what division you've been assigned to oh, it's a secret 
I think it was called something like the special support section. Hi, hi special. Yeah, uh, yeah. Did did I stutter? Oh my god, she's fucking clueless. Uh, does it even exist? Oh, it's so super secret that no one is allowed to know about it. Oh, here probably here comes the boss. Oh, you made it. Uh, yeah, receptionist. I'll take care of him over here. Yeah, don't don't worry. Uh, but we don't have anything about him. That doesn't matter. I mean, this looks like a slightly fat, fatter Neil. He still has the. You know, I'm gonna say that's a discarded sh uh, uh, cigar. Maybe he's like uh, Jonah Jameson, right? He's gonna constantly just ask us about pictures of Spider-Man and then not offer us any money. Oh, he's the unshaven man. I can take it from here, Fran. Walmart kills the soul of everyone who ever works there. You mean in, in, in South Park and in real life? So that's the name of the new uh, division we're starting? Yes. Okay, fair enough. I've never... I, I mean, I've shared my, my retail work experience, and I, I I thought it was okay. Never, It was never on the, the level of something as big as... Uh, um, as a Walmart, it was the Canadian version of Best Buy. Um, and I liked it, but retail isn't what it is today. Like, the amount of times you go on Reddit or you hear people bitching about, you know, having shitty customers. That's not to say that we didn't have shitty customers back then, but like, I don't know. Maybe there's a little bit more of a respect back then and now not. Oh my god. I just saw something about the greatest commercial ever. It was a flavored absolute vodka. And they showed them using... Pouring the vodka, the flavored vodka, into ice cube trays and freezing it and putting in the drinks. Oh my god, do I do, I do that now? Do I just make every... See, that would be really a shame if, you know, the wife just wanted out of nowhere, or any guest perhaps, just wants a, an ice cube in their drink. And I can't remember which ones are the ones that I've put in. See, me neither. But beca maybe because it was a flavored one, it froze. It was like a watermelon one, so maybe like that helped freezing it. I think it can freeze. I think alcohol can freeze, but it's got a, obviously a far uh, lower temperature to freeze. I guess I should set the, uh, the, uh, the freezer to six or something, right? The recommended level of three is not gonna freeze. Uh, vodka. I'm Sergey Lou, chief of the special support section, and you are dreamy, if I do say so myself. I'm Lloyd, apparently. Lloyd Bannings. If that's never like just an Americanized name, I've never heard jammed together. That's it. Important for service, doofy. Hold the formalities. Almost sounds like a porn name. Does everyone remember their porn name from when you were in high school? You're supposed to take your, your middle name and the street that you grew up on and that was your porn name? <clears throat> Just me? <laughs> Partners? Uh, I'm sorry, Sergey. I work alone. I'm Batman. What is middle name? I have two middle names. You ain't getting them. But they're both very, very common. That if you just guessed them, I would tell them to you. According to Google, pure ethanol alcohol freezes at minus 173 Fahrenheit. And the lower the alcohol content, the warmer the temperature is that freezes. Francisco! Alfonso! Alfon Alphonse? Moose! Uh, actually, my middle name is Meese. Meese Geese. William! Look at, the, look at the size of this conference room. Boy, you could have sex on that table. Samuel! Felix! Liam! Jacob! I feel like you just opened up like a baby book. And just... Typing like, ah, oh, there's a page randomly open. Da da da, Jacob. <laughs> uh, no. 
Boris. No, that's uh, Denise's uh, middle name. Oh, and the chair swivel. Why do I feel like I'm on the R style? Sorry for the wait, everyone. Here's our last member. He's late. Hans. Well, don't just stand there. Introduce yourself, kid. Uh, hi, my name is Lloyd Bannings. Are they also all rookies? Then again, that girl looks like she's too young to even be a part of the force. Oh God! Now we're already just we're just misgendering. We're miss we're misaging people. Hey, got Scott and stuck in your ears? What? Hey, kid, let's go. Name? Where you're from? Let's go. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hi, uh, my name is Lloyd Bannings, and I was born in Crossbell. Until recently, I have been living abroad in Japan, Libro, Ribaru, wherever it may be. But I've decided to return home in pursuit of joining the CBD, the Crossbell Penis Department. I look forward to working with all of you and getting down to all of those shafts that need to be investigated. Sit down and rotate is the goddamn motto of this police department. Oh, so you're the serious type. Uh, so, judging from the very beginning, this red-haired young man, that's Randy, baby, yeah. I don't know what he said there in Japanese. Uh... Shower tone? Break that up for me. Yo, I'm Randy. Randy Orlando. <laughs> you can't tell me these were the Japanese names for these people. You can't. Lloyd Bannings and Randy Orlando. These are porn names. These are the porn names. Are we playing a pornographic game? Have we stepped on into uh, Leisure Shoot Larry? He said also, which is slang for Hello! Konnichiwa! I can't wait till one of them answers an horrible phone chatter tone and goes, Oh, Moshi Moshi! I'm losing it over here. Uh, my hobbies include flirting with lovely ladies, gambling, and checking out sexy new mags like Hotshot. You know, that kind of stuff. Remind me later, and I'll let you take a peek at some of my prize collections when this is all said and done. Yeah. Uh, your what? Sorry. I will not take a look at your sicko porno magazines. This guy openly talks about his porn collection at work. And, and, and he works at the police department, yo, for the city. This is great. This, this is great. Um. My name is... Hold on. Meet you. My name is Ellie McDowell. I'm cross spelling much like yourself. I look forward to working with you. Don't ask me why these people have English accents. Terrible ones at that, by the way. Uh, so Chelsea, why do you like watching Yam Jordan? Well, it's Canadian, ridiculous, and pronounces everything wrong. Yes. Oh. oh. Tio Plato, Lemon State. A pleasure to meet you. All right. Yeah, you too. Hey, Governor. Hey, Chief Sergei. Huh? What is it? I'm wondering what that is the special sports section. Yeah, how come the receptionist had no fucking idea what the hell anything was? Clear as day that everyone here is fairly young. So I just Googled, and apparently his original name is Randy Orlando, even in Japanese. Interesting. What, what about what about our main protagonist? I can assume is uh, Lloyd Bannings. Still the same thing. It's such a strange. It is. It is. It's. It's like. I believe this game was made in 2010. Um. Again for the PSP. But like, it makes you just think like the. Did Falcom just like. Hey, we need American names. So they just went and go like, okay, just 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 throw two names together and see if it sticks. And then it's like, so they, they went to like the conference room to have everyone work and they go, okay, everyone just yell out an, an American name and go. And some person went out, Randy! <laughs> and someone else was like, Orlando! They're like, works. It works perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I should probably calm my nerves. I should listen to these. Okay, yeah, and then we got uh, Ellie and uh, Tio. So we are Lloyd, Randy, Tio, and Ellie. Denise, I need I need to know what's the equivalent Russian name to a Randy. Like, if you have a common name, like, I know we said those before, like, John is, like, the super common name around here, right? I would say Randy is, like, you know, the fourth or fifth. So, like, what's, who, like, what's the Randy equivalent of a, of a Russian person? You know, your typical guy that'll tell you that he openly reads porno magazines at work. The Randys of Russia. Randy Russia. Is that so, eh? A portable communication device. So apparently, according to Lloyd, he doesn't know what the fuck a cell phone is. I mean, those didn't exist in the other games. So I'm very confused about everything happening here. Like, was Lloyd in jail previously for like 12 years or something? You wanted to know what kind of responsibilities the SSS is going to have, right? I feel like that's really bad. You don't want to have three S's in a row. Why not four? Why not six? I imagine this little mission will give you a little good idea. Get ready for a hell of a ride. You know, throw on your suspenders, strap on in and get ready for the ride of your life, right? That's, that's what we're going to get into. Down... Oh. Are they sending us to the sewers? Could possibly be on the underside of Station Street. <sighs> Much like Jerry Seinfeld had the idea of mailmen, you know, give them a broom. They should be cleaning up the streets. Maybe that's what she, we should be doing here as police officers. Behind that door is the Geo Front. Hey, that's the name of the uh, of the uh, people who have uh, very nicely made this uh english translation i don't even know where they got that name from and now it all makes sense it's a vast network of tunnels running underneath crossbell city and i want you to get rid of the vermin rats people named randy so if you're saying randy is about like the sixth place then it would be dimitri or nikita like is nikita a, a man's name or a woman's name or is it uh does it go both ways It's a man's name. Okay. So if, if, oh no, both ways. Okay. So I'm picturing Randy's a drunken goofball. Between Dimitri and Nikita, who would be more likely to be the drunken goofball in the, in the subway station with a bottle of Smirnoff? I want to say probably Dimitri. Yeah. What's this have to do with anything? Yes. Solid. For starters, it'll serve as a test to evaluate your combat skills and overall aptitude, which we have zero, of course. The Geofront is home to some pretty weak monsters, but I look forward to dying on them. So, you know, and, and, and throwing my hands up in the air like, this game's too hard. It's too Japanese. I can, no, it's never, it uh, can never not be Japanese enough. It's your job to dispose of them and reach its deepest section. There we go. Combat test, huh? Fine by me. Can I still read my pornos? I think that's like what he's very worried about going forward. Test or not, why are we the ones going on into an area infested with monsters? Isn't there some second group like maybe, oh, I don't know, the Bracers that can get involved there? Or the Guardian Force? Maybe that's their own thing. Gotta admit, not our typical outing as a detective, but uh, you are members of the uh, uh, making it a different story altogether. I'm come again? I'm sorry. There's a train that was going by. I didn't hear that. We'll talk the deets later. First things first. Sergey handed over some kind of portable device to Lloyd and the others. Oh my god. Do I have a data plan? That looks like a really weird... Is that like a paging device? Are we all drug dealers? Sergey is also a very common Russian name. Okay. A fifth generation tactical orbit, the Enigma. Is it finally ready for combat? 
I guess so. The foundation shipped them out a couple of days. Like, did we did we just get the fifth iteration of the iPhone, or like, is it a pager? All right, Teal. Uh, were you also supplied with the quartz for this particular model? Oh, welcome to Orbman Hour. It's not much, but here you go. We got our quartz of each type. And we won't get far without this. The Geofront A key. Come on back to the headquarters once you've taken care of them monsters. And we'll talk more after that. All right. Are, are you handing me weapons now? Like, or do we just shoot guns at these poor people? A detective notebook. Bakeroni with the resubscription. Oh my god. <sighs> so that's where that $5 went. Indeed. <gasps> Wait. Why is this the first time I'm ever seeing Oreo as a a badge? It looks wonderful, by the way, but I don't think I've ever seen them. All I've ever seen on anybody is the is the rainbow cat. I guess what the thing is of everyone, like, no, I was just going to say, because everyone else is a mod, but because I'm the best. So you're Toad? Oh, we're in a combat notebook. I look forward to never reading these things except 90 fucking hours in when I realize I've forgotten how to do everything in this game and I've got to try and figure it out on my own. Oreo is a three month in a row subs only. I thought they changed that, though. I thought you could... I thought you could be three months regardless and still get it like i think three months is oreo the rainbow cad is the beginning i think a year is coco and then two years is uh my gav gav the special sports section automatically records events that happen throughout the game in the detective notebook Check its contents by selecting Detective Notebook by opening items from the camp menu or by pressing Y and left on the field. Y and left? Let's not confuse me out here. Uh, no, I don't think that's correct. I got gifted to sub sub ages ago. Sub sub ages ago. And this only been going for two months, so I have three months in total. Huh. Yeah. Regardless. Awesome. Thank you again, Baker. The special support section automatically records the data of each enemy you fight. Oh, so it's like a little bit of a... Please get please get on me about saying this wrong. A beast diary? Beast... A, a beast diary. Beast... Beast diary. Beast diary? Beast diary. What? Oh, God. <laughs> I knew I'm saying it. How... How am I supposed to say a, a, a beast diary? I knew this was going to upset everybody. Yeah, please join my Discord if you haven't already. Lloyd Bannings is in charge of these rambunctious police officers in the geofront. Just say it like that. I can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> Beast... Beastiari? What? That sounds wrong. Beastiari? Beastiari? Beastiari. Who would have thought we... <laughs> I love how Baker is just like... <laughs> throwing his hands up. I can't do it anymore. Beastiari. Can I just say Beastiari? <laughs> All right, yeah, short end of the say. <laughs> Why in the world would you pronounce yeah as in yeah? Because it's like, yeah, I'm Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't. Don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. Don't. Don't. You're making me do this. You're making me do it. Oh, yeah, we have to do it. We have to do it. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Yeah. Joe Ray, you're 53 years old and you don't know how to speak English. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank God someone's got a. Uh, now, okay, maybe, maybe they have Beast Diary. <laughs> uh, also, I, I am going to doubt that. Oh, oh, oh! Best cherry. I'm out of here. Bestiary? Bestiary. Bestiary. Bestiary! There's not enough booze right now. Now you got it right, but when it was in the middle of bestiary. Ah, oh yes, look at all the magnificent bests in nature. Wait, is that something wrong? You know what? We're not even getting on it. We're not even getting on it anymore. We're done. Because I'm gonna have to open up that kraken if this is where where we're heading. Okay, this is where we're, this is what's gonna have to happen. I do find it reassuring to have a proper detective on the team. I mean, look, as someone who started drinking his beer at 11 a.m., it's it's not so. Uh, out in the teeth uh, to be opening up, uh, you know, the Kraken. But I don't have any di uh, Dr. Pepper or Cherry Coke. Although I did see Cherry Coke uh, out in the uh, out in the real world of Canada, it was there. I think I'd have to settle for a a, a, a Pepsi, and I'm really unsure about that. Uh, or I could just drink it straight from the Kraken bottle. Yeah, let's drop the formalities. I think we're about the same age, and we're all rookies. 18 myself. Thank God. Now we can make all of the jokes we've ever wanted without uh, being told off by Baker. Baker! Uh, uh, that they're a child or something. Like, okay. Cherry Coke in the wilds of Canada among all of the bests? I know, right? We don't really have a lot of those... Uh, like a lot of the Mountain Dews that Americans have, we, we're lucky if we have like three of them. But I, I was going to get ice the other day for uh, when I went to my nephew's birthday to have cold beers. And I remember seeing they had Cherry Coke. I also thought I saw Vanilla Coke. I remember Vanilla Coke. And they had a blue Pepsi. I don't know why Canada is really weird, but I suppose that leaves you. Would you mind telling us? 14. Will that be a problem? Nope. Nope. You're already yelling at us. You have cat ears. It's fine. Blue hairs for Tio. 14 years old. Okay. Yep. Are you our healer, perhaps? 14? Okay. I'm glad everyone says So... Just so we are clear here, best diary. Is that even the right way of saying it? Or is that for something completely different? Because that's a descriptive or anecdotal treat, treat, treatise on various real or mythical kinds of animals, especially a medieval work with a moralizing tone. That sounds about right. Bestiary. Bestiary. So, so Wolf Slayer, this is how you say it? Like my phone is telling me that? Why can't that be in a woman's voice? I'll get your rocks off. The comment you made earlier is now inappropriate, Jordan, since she's under... I didn't say anything about Tio. Don't know if these still exist in the wild among the bests. Best... Look... She looks the part. She's like Light Yagami, except a woman. You know, she she she's got all the parts. We're gonna have to, you know, we're gonna have to have the get to the bottom of that. Maybe she's our L, right? Yeah, I guess that would be more fitting. Oh fuck me! This will be an hour of every possible way of saying <laughs> best diary. No, we have it right. The 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 they said it. 
This isn't best diary hour, okay? It's Orgman hour. Your phone is saying best diary. I say beast. Huh. Best diary, beast diary. Best diary. It's yeah. We're gonna we're just gonna back on uh, best diary, beast diary, best diary, <laughs> beast diary, best diary. <laughs> no, for Christ's sakes. Yeah, how can you be here when you're 14 when you got to be 16? Someone who's barely graduated from Sunday school. Uh, because I'm not one. I was transferred here by the Epstein Foundation for testing purposes. So get it straight. Uh, come again. Lloyd's hard of hearing here. I'll forget in a stream anyway. I'm not going to learn. <laughs> Candelabrum, right? Wasn't that uh, Candelabrum? See, I did learn. It took me years, but I did learn. Didn't Epstein make these um, ornaments we just got? Oh, I think I understand. I've heard that Crossbell City has been cooperating with the foundation. Oh my God, there's an Epstein Foundation. This is a, this is a hit on, on, on Jeffrey Epstein before everything was going on. Correct. The Orbal Network Project. Epstein didn't kill himself. Uh, what is that? Boy, that's a strange looking penis, but you know what? If that's what you got to work with, that's what you got to work with. Oh, it's a staff. Oh. Look, we were talking about shafts and, uh, you know, staffs earlier. <laughs> 14 year old was talking about Epstein. <laughs> you understand now, Lloyd? You're telling me that you're going to fight with this thing? Oh. Have you ever heard of Estelle Bright Lloyd? She was smacking things with a piece of sticks. A piece of sticks. Regardless. Beast Diary and Candle of Brooms. For a certified detective, you are exceptionally slow. I feel like Lloyd and I really share a lot of, uh... A lot of things in common. Come on, guys. Bickering like this won't get us anywhere. I mean, I don't even know why we haven't even entered into the geo front yet. I love it when I get plural amounts of only one piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Can we just get in here? Come up with a strategy. Let me have my orbal, my orbal hour, please. All right. I'm sorry, too, if I offended you in any way. Please accept my apologies. Oh, it's fine. Your reaction was justified, given the situation. But as I said, I'll be utilizing my orbital staff to fight. What weapons do you fucking morons use? I have a gun! Uh, like, what? My weapon of choice. I specialize in these. Alright, so here's our Joshua character. Damn it, Wolf Slayer. Why are you keeping everyone... Like Shalikart happy. Donpas, eh? That's an Eastern weapon. I do say so myself. Heard they're specifically designed for self-defense and suppression rather than offense. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! And then you shoot them, right? Isn't that how it goes? 58%. What? I swear to God, like the other day it was like 41%. And I was like, ah, maybe it's not going to happen. Where the fuck did this 58% come from? All right, Ellie? What will you be using? Fucking, she just uses a straight up gun. Oh yeah, I love when a, a gun, nine days left, thank you for telling me. I was just about to ask how long it's left before I have to uh, re-enable the final month of it happening. I feel like it could be easily accomplished if I got rid of the like the 2k limit. I don't know why Twitch li like limits it though. All right, Randy. What do what do we all think Randy uses? I why do I picture he's going to like I use my hands? <laughs> um all right, would have been uh, achieved by now. Absolutely. I beat things with a stick. I use tonfas. I ice motherfuckers. 
I'm broke by now, though. Oh, I mean, instead of having his fists, he's got a fucking giant ass, like, staff axe. Halberds! That's the name of them, sure. Except he, it looks like it has some type of orbital mount to it. I mean, everyone get on Denise, although I think he's already put in his 2,000. He's got like 80,000 points. Let's not forget about uh, Baker Rooney's alter ego gambling man. He might be sitting on a few points. This baby is called a stun halberd. His weight can make it difficult to get the hang of, but it's unmatched in terms of raw power. Can you imagine getting raw dogged by that halberd? Whew! Oh shit, I forgot about the gambling man. I did too. Denise has 80k, and yet at first he didn't even want to spend his points, by the way. So, we, we got him over that one. He's sitting on a fucking gold mine over there. The chief may look like a bum, but there's more to him than meets the eye. What is he, a transformer? Yeah, like Denise, how did you how did you accrue so many points? I mean, Chelsea and and Wolf Slayer and Baker, I think, have had some some bad gambling uh, defeats. But yeah, let her explain, please. I swear, if we lose out on this and we could have won with Denise, I'm reporting him to Twitch. Yeah, like I feel like Chelsea. And Wolf Slayer were upwards of like 40 or 50k. And then had like one bad bet. I feel like that happened. I mean, we could sit here and argue whether or not like Mega Man is, is, a, is, a, is a robot or a human again, right? Sitting at 31k right now, though I remember having three pretty big losses. So like, what happened? Did I fuck up? causing you to lose or did i shock you out of nowhere and you thought i was gonna lose and i pulled it out by the skin of my teeth from simple lighting cooling and heating systems to engines that power cars and trains all of them require energy output by ordinance baker can i just ask maybe this will probably get explained why is this area crossbell why is it so fucking far advanced in comparison to like liberal Like, they have trains, cars. Like, the only thing that that, that Libro had was the airships. Everything else was, like, nothing. This place is so fucking advanced. I mean, mind you, I'm just in the city, but... Is Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise a spin-off of Yakuza? Let's see the poll. Oh, God. That's going to trigger some people. I want to say Yakuza was a bad time for my P-Point wallet. It probably was. You probably forgot at that point, like, that I was on dad mode. So that probably was something that, that badly happened. Trigger one particular person. Yeah. Now, let's not, let's not get too upset about it. You know, they recovered, okay. Everyone's okay about it. Quartz are created by processing... Septium fragments known as sep. Okay, I didn't know I re I didn't know we were getting that down into the basics. Oh God, we gotta set them on into the sluts of our orbments. Wolf Slayer, are you going off with uh, Miss Anne so that she's legit proper Marylander? Is that is that what you guys call yourselves, Maryl Marylanders? Getting her her proper ID. Yeah, I feel like we've been a little bit low on the uh, on the predictions. Now, by the way, I think I, I think everyone just in my channel is somehow a a moderator now. You guys can make predictions. If you want to make them, make them. If you want to somehow s screw the the whole system and get more points, do it. All I know is that the person who makes the prediction cannot choose the outcome. That's it. Uh, I'm not going with her today so I can continue working, but yes, that's what we call ourselves. Marylanders. It just sounds wrong. 
Are you excited about the, the new purchase of a vehicle as well? Crossbell has a lot of tech companies as well as being a commercial hot pot. Also has a lot of people from Calvert and Arabonia. Uh, also, I think this country is the newest as well. Okay, so so just we're clear. Liberal was a country, right? Like, or, or a, a province or whatever. It's a giant area. So there was like four of them. There's, there's Crossbell, Liberal, Calvert, and, and Bonerville. She's looking at a really nice car. It should be a good thing to have. Yes, yes. I heard. Uh, was it a Corolla or a Camry? Uh, Camry, Rick. Get it right. Now, is this the same as the previous games? Setting up the orbits and whatnot? Now that I finally, after about 300 hours combined into those games, I think I finally have a grasping of it. Those are the big known ones. Yeah, they're smaller provinces and countries, but they're not as important. They're not important enough to have a fucking game. Tactical orbits are fine-tuned to each individual user, meaning that the circuit layout varies from person to person. I can't wait for Shalakard to come in here and be like, what the fuck, you started another Trails game? You, you haven't even gone into the answer yet, and you've started a whole other Trails game? And then we're going to play a, a mean trick on him, because he always comes in with, with, with mobile, if he ever does come in here today. Uh, tell, we're going to tell him that we canceled the Shalakard challenge. It didn't happen. I'm going to say like my finger slipped or something. I think this game is fairly similar. It introduces a new thing for ornaments, but it's not really hard to grasp. Have you, have you forgotten who you're staring at right here? It might be difficult for Jordan to grasp. Maybe. We don't know. As for farts, it will be better to learn about those during actual combat, so I will stop my explanation there. Well, thanks, T.O. I mean, if we're going to take anybody seriously, it's going to be someone with the with the cat ears as a headband. Crude, but yes, if you're familiar with the older generation models, there should be... No Is that like their, their little take on like, hey, look, if you played the old games, you'll be fine here. Just don't fucking go crazy about it. The only major difference from the older model is an additional function. Oh, here we go. I should probably pay attention to this. Anyway, dun 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 dun, hitting A, just carrying on. No, um... Oh, she's not even going to bother explaining it for me. Jordan, I have a question. I may or may not have an answer for you. Jordan, trust me. It's really, really not hard. If you can't grasp it, then I gain a newfound level of absolute disbelief at your stupidity. I mean, make room for that. Make room for that newfound level of appreciation. that a fucking mod could just say the <laughs> um thank you wolf slayer trying to figure out how did you how did you come across the <laughs> just uh, no never mind <laughs> oh hey, fuck you broke me <laughs> oh for fuck's sakes I, I i can't even be mad right like i can't even be <laughs> i can't even be mad <laughs> Fuck me. 
I'm fucking crying over here. Please set the quartz for each party member's orbment. You can do this by selecting orbment from the camp menu and selecting quartz. Oh, Chelsea Ann, I think at this point, they're not even mild strokes anymore. They're like legit, call, call 911. Like, it's gotta happen. Uh, you've earned the noteworthy beginning achievement for receiving the detective notebook. As you can see during the game, you may unlock achievements when fulfilling certain conditions. Unlocking achievements will net you points that can use to unlock various features after clearing the game. You can check your achievements by selecting record under the system menu in the camp menu. Great. Uh, I'm sorry that just looked very strange. I even had to go. No, 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 no apologies. Don't. At least now you know. Call 999. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's for them. Uh, what were we doing? System? No, Orbit. Okay, shit. Them. Okay, so, okay. Arts, I don't think we have any. Do we? That, what did I say though? What did I fuck up with them? What did I say? All right, quartz. Oh, are they gonna keep this super simple and just let me have just one slut? Okay. So, I don't see colors. He has two lines. Okay, oh, okay. So, that's... Okay, so you got wind for that person. Water. And one line. So, so Teo's our healer. It is Chelsea. I think we can also use 111. Okay. And then fire. Okay, so... So, Teo's our healer. And then our guy just... He's got the randoms. What's the arts list? Oh, oh, so Stone Spike is what we got there. Sparkle, sparkle! Um, Icicle Edge. Oh, 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 oh. There we go, we got Crest and Stone Spike. Sparkle, sparkle. Uh, and then we have, uh... Icicle Edge and Tear, or Tear. And then uh, for the attack, we have Firebolt and Forte. See, that makes sense. Have the same number so you have less hand movement in a potentially stressful situation. No, you just have to go up to someone and go, Hey, you dial 9-1, and then when I say, you dial 1 again. Okay, that's that's how that's got to happen. All right, I think we're, we're, we're golden. Let's save the game, because we haven't done that yet. Jesus fucking H of Christ. Does anyone have a a, 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 a a soft save count for when we're going to be at the end of this game? We're playing on normal, so all you fucking clowns don't get on me about playing on dad mode. Uh, I don't think we have any of these. Nope. Striker. Lloyd Bannings. Ellie McDowell. Tio Plato. Randy... Orlando. I'm going to guess 210. I wish you could do separate, longer predictions. That would be really nice. Like, you know, way, way long, throwing a lot of points into something, something like a lottery, maybe. That'd be really nice. Tactics. Okay, good formation. Good formation. Okay, I'm liking this already. In fact, I'm loving it. All right, so you know what? Fuck, fuck what you wanted us to do. No, no. All right, let's head on into the geo front until we can get a little deeper. I love, I just love this. I haven't been able to do anything, but here we go. Can we please use the fucking key? I need to go. My mom want me to go to the grocery store. I will be back in like 20 minutes or so. Denise, I will still be here. Um, 
probably for at least another four hours. Do not get stuck in traffic, or else that would be a... I might as well just have the rest of you continuously guess what my two middle names are, so it's just all out in the open. <laughs> Holy fuck! I, I, I swear to God, Baker, you're driving me to get to the real, the real alcohol, the real liquor. Look at the size of that fucking pylon. It's almost as big as the fucking barrels. Some jive and music, of course, as well. I hate stairs. They're terrible. All right, nothing to interact with. There we go. Some weird music to start, I guess. Sure. So this is the Geofront. I heard rumors about it, but I wasn't expecting something this massive to be under the city. No one can decipher anything from that that doesn't already understand what it means. Calm down, Jorda Rooney. I know, I know. Uh, Phew, Morty. I thought we were going to be trudging on through some nasty-ass sewage. Uh, no. So when I'm thinking of sewers, it, that's not really what this place is. You know, the waterworks, sewage systems, waste disposal plant. It's all going to be very, very modern. Well, it's safe to say that this place isn't at all what I expected it to be. Central Square is directly above us, right? What if someone was sitting atop of, like, a, a manhole cover and it was right above our head and just decided to take a shit? Would it, would it cover Portillo? However, there have been reports of maintenance workers being assaulted while working down here. Unfortunately, the police seem too busy at the moment to provide the appropriate countermeasures for these incidents. So this could be one of those reasons why the special support section was created and why the receptionist had no fucking idea who the hell I was. She better get an idea of who we are. Gotta get going, friendo. Maybe I'll be back uh, in time for more stream if you're here in a couple hours. You know what? I think I should be. I think I should be. Goodbye, everyone. She's turning into a real Marylander instead of a proper uh, Hamilton, Ohio Londoner. Take care, Chelsea. What Baker said. Whether this is a detective's job or not, it's a job that needs to be done. And we're the popo, so we do what we have to do. Listen to Mr. Formality over here. Should take advantage of this mission to refresh ourselves with the basics one step at a time. So is that gonna like heal us or what? A charging station. Rest, EP fully recovered. Okay. When the party's in critical condition, chew using these to recover. Alright. Um so I think we can't use this red door. We have to unlock that door. Alright. Rest and leave. Well, I we're already full. Wait, no. How are we not fully rested up? It's got to go to black screen, eh? It's got to go to a black screen. Would you like to go through the battle? To uh, yeah, sure. I wouldn't mind it. Oh, this poor, this poor unrelentless bastard. Does the music sound uh, okay, loud enough? I know, like, we're an hour and a half in, a little bit longer than that. But, like, I said that at, like, 50% thinking that was going to be okay. He's prepping his anus. Yeah, he's presenting himself. This will be our first combat operation as a team. Let's pro proceed carefully and strike. Monsters cannot be seen from far away, but when close enough, they'll become visible. Maybe a tad quiet? Okay, maybe I can up it to like 60 or whatever. All right, so it still is just like the last one. Come up behind something. Nail A. We'll be fine. Get a, get a first attack if they attacked us first. You know, they would get that. Oh god, so there's fainted enemies. What's a fainted enemy? Oh, that's new. A field attack can defeat an enemy if we're significantly higher. But I wonder if this game is sort of the same way as before. 
um, as to where, like, we're not going to, uh... Oh. Wasn't expecting it to go so fucking quickly. <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me. Battle order, known as the action time bar. Yep, so that's the same. It looks like we have some similar status effects as well. Like, I'm assuming that's a critical attack for someone. Okay, a little bit different uh, menu right in your face. Uh, we can move, we can run, we can make crafts. Attack an enemy. The highlighted area is the distance the character's attacks can reach. Selecting a target in this area will move the character to attack it. When a target is out of range, you'll get an X. Okay, so that's pretty similar. Oh, you're going to nail both of them. Oh, but if you move there, you wouldn't get... So what is... Oh, what's that? A delay of 107, but if we go over there, it's a delay of 71. All right, yep. That's going to be a critical. Heal, Sepeth up. Okay, those are all basics. I don't know what that delay is. Alright, can we at least murder that thing? There's something about the way they move I really like. I really like the, uh... I like, I like the sprites. It's very nice. 69, super nice. Yeah, so she could move. I guess I could have used uh, like a fire spell or something, but. I think if it hits the delay, will be slightly longer than if it's one where you can get the attack off because you aren't got enough range. We got a king potato. So is the delay like what it's adding on to? Well, see that didn't make sense because the one, the one girl, she wanted to go to the further enemy away. She wasn't gonna be able to hit it, but the delay was lower. Yeah, perk on up. These guys are probably at the bottom of the food chain. Teal's horrible staff gave quite the surprise at first. I mean, did it? That's what you're saying. Oh, 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 okay, okay. It's essentially functioning as a short range burst of arch without the casting time. So because I hit both of those characters, it's like, oh, you did well on that attempt. We're gonna have you take a little longer to be able to do your next attack. Whereas if you weren't able to hit them both, it was sort of a scene as a, um, a disadvantage. You should probably be able to act sooner on your next turn. Like, like, cause it is a reference to your next turn, right? This links with the Orbal Staff systems and provides me with a protective field, increasing my defense. Thanks to start, thanks to start, wow, stroke. I'm able to withstand much more than my physique suggests. If you ever need me on the front line, there should be no problem, I'll see. So maybe I should be throwing her. Well, she's still my healer, though. We'll keep her at the back. Yeah, sorry I brought that up at all. Yeah, and of course, speed increases will lessen the delay. It helps you to actually gauge the difference between you and the enemy when it comes to speed. Yeah, like this, so that's a nice little added feature. That's really nice. Hey, look, a, re a real legitimate treasure chest? Oh, please tell me you can still talk to them. Welcome to the Geofront. I promise this dungeon won't take as long as the other Geofront. I feel like I'm missing a joke there. Looks like we got ourselves a couple of jelly beans in our path. Morning, Stormy! How are you? How are you feeling? I feel like it's a little. it's been a little while. I, I hope you're feeling a lot better than you have been. Always a pleasure to see you. 
I'm starting to realize I think like everyone in my chat is just a moderator. It's like it's just like the thing. You, you put in a few you put in a few months time, boom, you get you get a goddamn sword beside your name. Glad to see ya. We should try fighting this one with our arts as well as everyone. Yeah, great idea. Roger Dodger. Oh, can we are we just gonna stumble into the back of him like a moron? Sure. Alright. Arts are effective against enemies that are difficult to hit with weapons, and those on with the physical attacks have little effect. It takes time for arts to be cast, consuming a set amount of EP. Alright, so that's pretty much the same, so. Art. Sparkle, sparkle! Alright, so that's gonna be the same for both people. That's fine. Been here for a day. Great, here's your mod badge. That's not how it works. I mean, well. Maybe it is. So I should be sad that I'm not a mod yet? I feel bullied. I mean, if you want one, I can give it to you. Uh-oh. This guy's peeing on me. You're fine. Ow. Oh, you fucking piece of sh- Glad to see that's a thing in. I'm feeling much better. I still feel the effects on my lungs when I yawn, but it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. It doesn't hurt, just uncomfortable. So are you- Are you expected to make, like, a, a full recovery? Like, like, does it just want me to keep using arts on these things? Yeah, I, I, that, that's a, that's ecstatic to, to hear that you're 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 doing so much better. Hey, hey come on! That's doing more damage than this shitty magic you're having me do. And this guy can't do anything because he keeps getting frozen. There we go. That looked like a Final Fantasy VII remake door. Oh, I don't see. That's what I like. I, I can like that, but I. I don't like how they're separated. I'm gonna forget about that like a bajillion times. How come I haven't gotten any tactical bonuses? Am I this stupid? Don't, don't fucking answer that. Am I missing something here or am I under leveled? I mean, that could also be a, a possibility. Uh oh, look at this guy. He's looking at us. Let's try using some crafts, arts and crafts time. That's the favorite time of any kindergarten. My time to shine. Trust me, you don't want to miss any of my killer moves. Watch and learn. Uh, yeah, don't hurt yourself. Shiretone, I need you to explain to me what they're all yelling in Japanese so that I can use it and fail to pronounce it properly later on in life. My mom is really into arts and crafts, so she would probably love this game then, right? Crafts are characters' special skills, and they use those CP penis points, so of course we can use them. Axel Rush whirls around Tonfas, making a series of shockwaves. Tiger Charge! We'll, we'll, we'll keep it at that. Also, they use them automatically here, it would appear to be. Anyways, fires three high accuracy schlutz concentrated on one point. I wasn't listening that much, but I at least hear Ikuzu, which translates to let's go or let's do it. Okay, that, that makes sense. Analyze! Oh, don't, don't get rid of my, uh, my, my information orbments. Ikuzu. Ikuzu? Ikuzu. All right. So they hate fire, eh? The cockroaches! Ha! 
Power Smash! Did I say it wrong again? Did I say it wrong again? Thank God that shit doesn't stack, eh? You said it so incredibly wrong. I mean, I feel like that's just the way it's gonna have to be. Who, who needs to be healed here? Discord, hello? See, that's one thing, it is so hard to see who we're, he like, I can see here, but like, I wish you would show like on the side who that is we're healing. I think that's Randy. Which is amazing because you've probably heard it over a thousand times in your life by now. For the sake of preventing another hour of us trying to teach Jordan another word, you said it perfectly <laughs> and keep up the good work. I sent you the pic my mom drew. Oh, that's what that would be. I really am not a fan of these things murdering me all right now. It, if they could just stop right now. There we go. That's some proper work right there. I can appreciate the them throwing in the the numbers. Like, you know what? You're you're going to be debilitated this this long, okay? That's that's how this is going to work. Ah, uh, you can't reach the all of them. Oh, and, th and this poor woman, she's got to like heal everybody. This is this is just terrible. You should probably heal your. Yeah, like see, like I'm not. I wish there's well oh, details. Was that? Oh, it. Okay, so I just have to. Okay. Just hit an X button. Where's my rush button? If you guys could just stop doing that right now, it'd be great. It'd be really great. Should be the same as the previous games. Oh, of course it will be, but yeah, you know, we're we're failing miserably. Wait, is there... So I can't move my... Uh, cannot move my camera. That's okay. Can you guys just stop that garbage? Honestly. Leaf milled flower, those are going to be items to be used later on, right? What you thought that because it's a fan translation, all you would find is this chest is empty? Oh, I like that. Some earth. Sepith, well, some multiple Sepith. The Geofront team developed PTSD, arguing whether to name it the CPD or the CSPD. Why do I have a feeling like I'm going to love these jokes from these people? I can't remember if it's the one or the next one, but one of my fave battle themes in this series is in it. Like, you mean, like, Trails to Zero or Trails uh, from Azure, meaning it's your favorite battle system? Let's use S crafts. Let's really zero or is you okay? Okay. So we're really gonna murder these things, right? Uh, Morty. I use the recovery S craft, so don't hesitate to rely on me when it going gets tough. Okay, well we can use that right away. I mean, all of this sounds wonderful. All right, so what do we got? He's got 98, so he doesn't have enough. Oh, I get wants me to just use specific things here. Okay, well, relax. Keep your pants on. 
Once a character has a low 100 or CP, Escarot can be released, and it's ignoring the battle order. Each character's S break can be a specific S craft under status. Y plus whatever activates core running as character's icon becomes that you cannot activate it. Let's try activating S break for real Z's. Okay. A lot more anime in this one, that's for damn sure. Oh, like a, a, a legit tiger just ate that poor Zubat. What did you just steal from me? God damn it, you kumquat. Did it purposely lower us down to like... Aura Rain. Revive and heal. Wait, was she the one that was talking about that? I guess so. A really, I, I, a I healing rain upon allies if max CP HP is fully healed, but we're probably just below 50%. Anyways, triple burst. This is gonna be a little confusing with the hitting the the Y button for that. Why did you laugh? What did I what did I do so wrong this time? I just liked hitting like although I bitched in the in the previous games about having to hit the just the analog and I would hit it by accident, so I can appreciate having another button press in there but my stroke oh yeah i think they did it because people accidentally hit s breaks they could yeah yeah like i even i said that i hated doing that um ladder leads to central square right so for some reason the database has no record of it so why'd they leave it open we should report this later after we're done here definitely wait so like so we can't go up here guess not oh i thought there'd be something up there a few things like they've changed a few buttons of what things were from the previous games not not oh now now we've been left to our oh god left to our own devices here boy we have like no ep here ow yeah don't be wasting your critical attacks here it's like a fucking truck Wonderful. So how am I getting these tactical? Like, well, is that going to be explained later on and I shouldn't worry about that right now? Ooh, a reviving bomb. Signs and equipment were left down here so that this place would be perfectly serviceable. Server, serviceable. Oh. So they see you. So if you press A or X or whichever control you're using, Lloyd doesn't attack on the field. Oh. I, I literally thought they, they mentioned that already to me. So when they're coming at me, I should probably still hit the button instead of just walking into them. I think they said that like 20 minutes ago. Oh! See, now we got a bonus there. Unsca- Oh! You know, eventually, these answers just come up out of their own, right? Unscathed, okay. And we got a potato. I love me a good potato. 
usually baked mashed is okay roasted is also good oh god what did i just hit i hit the trigger button Oh, I guess you can just, like, read through everything. Wow. Yeah, you can also get bonuses for killing multiple enemies at once via a AoE attack. Okay. It's an elevator control panel. Operate it! It's also time for another brewski. From Ottawa Valley, Ontario, Whitewater Brewing Company presents the Blood Moon. I've never had this before. Tart and fruity. Blood Orange Sour. I can appreciate a Blood Orange Sour. I'm going to actually figure that this is going to look like a fucking ridiculously red beer. I'm going to assume so. Not at all. Wow. Holy shit. Is that fucking tart and sour? Wow. CS has the same system? Uh, you're saying, when you say CS, you're meaning uh, cold steel when you say that, right? Man. That is a... Uh... That is tart. All right, let's go. Uh, we always work our way to the north. Oh! Is it similar to Shock Top? No, not even close, Stu. Not even close. How you doing, Stu? Good to see you, buddy. I hate, I hate that. I hate that fucking move. Oh, what the hell was that? Counters when an attack misses. The target may counterattack if they are in range. Oh, that was wonderful. No, Shock Top is like a sweet overkill. I wouldn't even say sweet, but no, like not even close. Like, like actually like the tartness of that beer, like literally just now was like astonishing oh holy shit boy that's different all right do you have the analyze no who has the analyze god damn it Who had the analyze? Yes. I, I'm sort of I was sort of hoping that if if these things have Wait, what was analyzed then? It must have been a craft. Shit. I'm an idiot. Can't reach it. Holy smokes, did you just start zero? Neo matter! Uh, yes, I did. Uh, about an, two hours in deep, but taking our sweet time with it um just finished uh, all the trails uh, one two and three moved our way into this um and we're like basically just in the geo front um tutorial so 
loving it so far. Like, welcome on in. Yeah. Having a lot of fun. So now I've, I haven't realized. Oh, there's the analyze. All right, let's just see what you got here. You hate fire, eh? How about a little fire, Scarecrow? Blah! Hey, back. Hey, yeah. Yeah, welcome. I find it comical that I, I literally talked about, hey, how come I'm not getting any of these tactical bonuses? Welcome back, Denise. And then I'm getting just like a ton of them out of nowhere. It's great. A little bit of clear gelatin, of course, as well. Some Sabbath points. Don't forget to talk to the chest. Why do they call it the Geofront if it's under the city? Thank you, I'll be here all game. Oh, that, that, was a, that was a dad joke. Yeah, thank you for showing me that. That was, uh, we're, we're getting some moves here. I'm a little ashamed it doesn't keep telling me the, all of the, all of the terribleness that can happen. Azure is my favorite Trails game. Well, we'll get there in, in, in a bajillion years, but we will get there. Manage to nudge out Sky SC, eh? It is fucking incredible. Oh, don't don't feel that you don't have to swear around here. Yeah, feel, feel free and open to, 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 to use all the words at your disposal. Oh, the little birdies, an ambush. Oh my god. Wait, what does that thing with all of the party things mean? Oh, that's going to be some fun. I mean, he did swear just in another accent. I mean, technically true. Yeah, like, shit, we didn't even get to see that. What does that thing mean with all of the, you know, the, all the Partey members? Oh, I tried, I tried to, tried to come around him there and it didn't really work out for us there. That's okay. That means you do a personal L out attack. I don't believe Denise uh, of the Vargas. He just makes some really good toast, to be honest, Neo Matter. He puts it on a pan, apparently. They don't believe in toasters in, in Russia, so. You know, wh whichever. Bob, Bob's our, our uncles here. I mean, I don't want to just waste that out of nowhere, but I also want to see this laser beam. The Ether Buster Buster Duster. It's a Duster Buster. Hey, thanks for the follow, Neo Matter. There's more where that came from. Okay, that mer that was probably a little bit overkill. Probably a little over the top. I have wonderful energy. You are here to stay. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Um, there also is quite a bit penis talk. We'll, we'll, we'll certainly just bounce off into all these... These terrible things. If I can just ask you one thing. One thing. Don't ask me to pronounce anything. Um, we, we just figured out that Beast Diary. You know how like when you're playing a Japanese RPG game. And you know you're, you're getting a, a notebook. Of all the enemies. I'm 39 years old. Of those 39 years old. Strokes also happen. Um, I always thought it was uh, Beast Diary. I didn't realize uh, that it was... Um, hold on a second. I didn't realize it was said this way. Bestiary. No idea. Bestiary. Never knew. I, I am a father. Proud father. Uh, where did we come from? Did we, did we come from over there? I don't even know. We try to spell things phonetically around here. And it's not because I'm, like, I'm stupid. Don't answer that. Um, well, thank you for the host as well. Um, it's just that I, I really, really, really do certainly struggle. 
Oh, wait. We, so we must have... Oh, God. I, I keep hitting that, that thing. So we came from... Okay. We came from this way. Okay. Okay. Please watch the clip to be fully inducted in the community. Yeah, like, I guess it's like sort of like that's what gets Baker off. Is like everyone watches this thing. It's hilarious. It works. So many levels. You can fuck up a word with the best of them. I'm glad to have you part of the team here. It's been a while since we've had someone make, uh, you know, make a mockery of, of how you, you say things. Oh, great. Someone's crying. Uh, there is a treasure chest up there. If we could get Randy Orlando up there to grab it. That's a porno name if we've ever heard one. Stu, god damn it! Uh, we have a little we have a little shallow card community challenge. Uh, this guy wants me to play Devil May Cry. So I made it ridiculously stupid hard of 250,000 points in a three month span. I have a feeling it might actually happen. As far as I know, the general public should not have access to the geofront. Well, like what? Did it... Maybe a kid fell down the well. And we're sending our love down the well. Down that well. We're sending our love down the well. All the way down. Uh, yeah, it, this is filled with Simpsons jokes and shit like that. Um, yeah. I started drinking today at 11 o'clock, Neo Matter, so it's all fitting in. That was my best Krusty the Clown impersonation. I do a far better Macho Man, but... That's going to be a sipper of a drink. Uh, by the way, Baker... Cheers. And if any of you other degenerates are drinking... Uh, I'm not an alcoholic. Uh, I'm a shift worker. Um, my hours are all over the place. So, like, when you're, you're like, working, I'm sleeping. And when you should be, uh, you know, you're like, Jordan, it's Wednesday. Do you work? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I, I, like I said, I work shifts. So, I already worked last night. So... Don't worry about it. Um, well, I'm assuming you go in here. Wait. Do, okay. Do, do we go in there or do we go over here? We need to find the source of the crying. Okay. Well, you know what? I love it when it just shows me where we got to go. Right? Uh, hello? A little bit of Metal Gear Solid action here. These are giant vents, by the way. Giant. Like, at least Solid Snake could come on in here. What do I do if this keeps up? I'm... What? Hey, is someone there? No, did you just hear someone talking out of nowhere? Come on, Lloyd! It's a boy. I mean, technically, both could be correct, Baker. I could be a shift worker and also a shit worker. I haven't been told either way whether I'm a good worker or a shit worker, so... Oh, God. We've opened up the waterworks here. Randy, don't even say a word. Your name is Randy Orlando, and you shared with the class that you read pornography. Not that there's anything wrong with reading pornography. I mean, are you, do you technically read pornography? Are you, do you, is he one of those people that tells everyone that he reads Playboy for the articles? Meanwhile, he's holding it up like this, like... What's, oh, that's a weird article, right? Uh, they're there. I know you were scared. Everything is okay, though. Oh, I promise. We're all here. We'll protect you. I am watching and reading porn only for plot and story. What could be the other reason? One would argue, Denise, that... The pictures in a pornography magazine is the plot. The story is the is the uh, is the interviews with the celebrities, right?
Oh, great. Are, is this turned into like an escort mission where we're going to bring along the boy with us and we're going to have to protect him? And if he gets nailed by some type of giant mosquito, it's all fucking over. Did he say his name is Army? Hey, wait, like, maybe I wanted to go in there because it looked like there was, like, treasure chests in there. Anry, not Armory. Oh, god damn it. The geo front should have been locked. How did you get inside? Well, I'm going to assume that, you know, that manhole cover that was, uh, you know, accessible? I'm going to assume he strolled on in there. Opened up this weird lid on the ground, found a ladder down in here, and I was looking for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I didn't find them, but I found Splinter. And he has terrible diseases. Great. Now we're going to have to get back to the city and tell them, hey, look, you're going to have to weld this down or something because we got children popping on down here, okay? Uh, so did we just realize that there are multiple children in here? Uh, yeah. My friend Ryu, or Ryu, said we were going on an adventure. But when we got down here, we ran into some monsters and got separated sob so that's the full story here we're looking for ryu ryu the guy from street fighter we're looking for him do you know what really pisses me off about porn i want to know if the woman gets her plumbing fixed or not that leak was pretty bad but instead of giving me a fulfilling narrative i had to watch the plumber slam his penis in her vagina what a waste of time you're damn right not to mention, they'll probably get fired for that. Taking way too long on the job, didn't come back with any payment for the job. Some bullshit. Like, does her house just flood? Oh. It floods. With semen. Everywhere. And not of the, uh... Of the boating variety. Not those semen. Not, not the navy semen, no. Uh, the one that... I'll let you do the math in, in, in your fucking head. There we go. Uh, search with Ryu with, uh, Anri. Sure. I think we can handle that. There's no reason to waste time. Should we not prioritize getting this child to safety? Relax and keep your pants on. We got Randy Orlando with us. He can babysit the kid. I have a feeling that regardless of what you picked, it probably be like, all right, hey, you dropped the kid off. Now we should look for the other one or you decide to go and do this, right? Well, I don't care about the semen. What about her broken pipe under the sink? You're damn right. Wait, did we, so did we just lose, like, Ellie? But we gained a child. Alright, let's go find our other little adventurer. If an NPC is KO'd in battle, it will be game over, man! Protect them at all costs. I should probably save my game again. All right, so let's let's go back on in here, see if this leads to something. Oh, so we okay now we have every wait. I thought I thought someone said that they were going to watch the child. That wasn't sort of the point that they made. A lighter. You'll take a lost child with you, but not me. I see how it is. Okay, that was. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was pretty funny. I hate being frozen. You hear that, Jordan? Protect them at all costs. I did hear them. I'll fail that mission terribly. Deadpan voice. That was pretty funny. It was. I mean, I'm not denying that, that your joke wasn't funny. At least I didn't ruin it this time. So, I, thank God you explained that to me, because I thought I was just stumbling on into to these people. I didn't know I was going to, like, smack them around a few times. Oh, again, are we going to miss this, this, this wonderful attack of everybody, like Persona? I feel like we just move just to see it, right? When this bonus appears, a simultaneous attack can be performed, and you may choose to cancel. But why would you cancel that? No, 
Remove his face and skin. Call Captain Planet and re re remove this thing from uh, the area. Well, Stu, are you doing some computerized uh, drawings again today or what? Not yet. I mean, it's like, it's, it's almost home time. Just got back from Waterloo. What are you doing there? A house call. Were you doing a plumbing call, Stu? Uh, hi, I'm uh, I'm the contractor that was sent to uh, fix your uh, your drawings. Fix my drawings, eh? Uh, yeah, that's that's what I was here for. Battle scopes are one way you can scan enemies for the combat notebook. Should probably get on that, detective. Wait, what was that we just got? Battle scopes. Someone explain everything to me. Jordan, when did the last game in this series come out, and do you know if there are any new plans? Uh, Baker will know far more than I would know. Training at a Volvo dealership, eh? Um, but there was, like, a recent one. Like, very, very recent. Like, uh, there's... So, what we're playing is called the Legend of Heroes. Uh, we, we played previous Trails in the Sky. And then there's the, uh, Zero no Kaseki, which is this game. And then there's, uh, the, uh... Ao no Kaseki, which is the Azure game, those both weren't. They both didn't have a, a uh, English release. Um, this, how we're playing this, is because a, a community fan was translated into English, so that's how we're playing it. Um, so these two weren't really readily available, and then it went into the Cold Steel series, Legend of Heroes Cold Steel. Those are the most recent ones. So, as far as I know, those would be it. I don't know the plans beyond that. Uh, Baker and and uh, uh, Miss Puddles know far more about this series than I do. They're the ones that just sort of introduced them to me. So, that's where we're at. Um, I'm just going to go take a quick little piss break. I will be uh, right back. <laughs>
I mean, I may be gone, but I'll always be in your hearts, right? And we're still trying to learn how to sell bestiary, right? You know, we're rocking well. We're rocking well and hard. Get on in there. Let me guess. This is going to be some type of boss fight. But we have... Uh, oh, no, I forgot. You said it the way I do. Wait, hold on. Wait, I should go back to my old ways. Beast diary. No. Bestiary. Bestiary. There we go. If I keep saying it the wrong way, it, we're going to be here all fucking day. Boy, this kid is bundled up as if he's just waiting for us in Canada. That is the Jordan we all know, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe... In all of my years, I don't think I ever heard anyone ever say that ever properly. And now I'm hearing it, and now I can't shut up about it. Ooh. I don't like being given options like this. Bad ending? Oh, come on! Alright, let's take him out. How, how bad could it be? Can't even reach anybody. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Wait, what were those battle scopes that we just got? Analyzes an enemy's key data. Well, let's give it a whirl. So have you seen the gameplay of the newest game that will come out in 2021, 2022? Like, are you referring to the new Trails game? Or not Trails, Legend of Heroes, Denise Varga? Use a little bit of fire. No, because spoilers. Okay, there you go. This is this is a this is a series that a lot of people take very seriously in this channel here. So uh, Hajimari hasn't even come out in the West yet. I didn't even know there was a name for it. Arts and crafts time. Kids just stumbling around. Hey, look, how are we doing here? Yeah, we're doing fine. Hopefully at the Falcom event tomorrow, there's news of a localization in the West for Hajimari. I mean, I have to assume like that's going to be expected though, right? Okay, please do not murder the child. Hajimari is the one after Cold Steel 4 and before Kuro. Wait, what? So what's... Isn't Kuro no Kaseki Trails of Azure? No. Oh. Well, it shows what I know. Azure in Japanese is Ao no Kaseki. Oh, okay. That's that probably makes a lot more sense. Everyone's good heal wise. So Kuro is like a new series. Again, I, I, I wish I knew. I am I'm not the man that knows. Can't reach them. Oh, I, I better not die here. This this is gonna be disastrous. Yes. 
I love anime, though. I don't know either. I avoid stuff I don't know because of spoilers. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm assuming I can heal these these kids, which I probably should be doing. Oh, dear God. All I know is that Kuro is the start of the Calvert series games. Hajimari is like an intermission game between the Cold Steel stuff. Okay. You know, it'd be great if these kids could actually, you know, hit something. You know, do something that, that would matter. Alright, heal up the damn kid, please. So, in other words, there's a lot more of these to play then. Is, is, what, is what I'm getting at. Oh, that sucked. I missed that. I mean, that's good. I I, the, I assume these series, uh, you know, do extremely well, obviously, right? But by the time you get up to date, Hajimaru will probably come to the West. I mean, I I thought for it was either this game or uh, the Azure game. I thought I was looking them up on Steam and. Like they're even coming to like, is it is it the Chinese Steam equivalent or something? Like it's like it's supposed to be next year. Like they're very, very slow with these things. I don't I don't know why. I need to steal that one move from you there. Supposedly, the head of Falcom City wants to continue these games for another 15 years. I think they're still wildly underrated and under the radar here in the West, but do well in the East. Yeah, they're certainly great gaining traction. Um, like, thanks to, to, to Baker and, 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 and Silver Puddles, like, these were things that were never on my list at all. And I got relatively excited about the Cold Steel series, and then they were like, no, 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 like, play the trail stuff. They're easy to get, you know, they're on Steam. Play those first. And I, I, I played them, and obviously you can see where we've gone from here, obviously, right? Um, they're, they're, they're quite they're quite enjoyable, so. Monster Hunter used to be the same way until 4. Oh, yeah, like, I would say, like, Monster Hunter World really opened it up to, to, to the West. Uh, is there someone that heal? I guess, uh, I guess Lloyd. Oh, he could take a heal. I mean, you can even see, like, with, with a community, uh, work that was done with this game. This, this is a big undertaking, right? Like, this is, this stuff takes a while. I, uh, Persona 5 was got me to play Persona 3 and arguably one of my favorite Personas, Persona 4. 1 and 2 are a little too old in my opinion, un unfortunately. Um, but I never would have played those games had it not been for the excitement for Persona 3. Or, sorry, for Persona 5. It just blows my mind how well written they are. It is to tie so much together in one world and story arcs is crazy. So I, I didn't even know that they were relatively all tied together. Like that wasn't even something that was, you know, like uh, occurred to me at all, really, um, to be honest. Let's heal everybody up. Only Sui Coden tried to do something similar in a large, similar world. Persona 5 got a lot of people in the way. And I think that's what they're noticing, right? Like, I don't think Hen if Persona 5 doesn't do so well, are we seeing Persona 4 on Steam? Probably not. But, like, that's that's the way everything just sort of happened for us. And it's wonderful, right? It's, it's worked out well for so many people. And I know that those games do take a long time to, to, you know, to get everything going, you know, but 
judging from what I've seen with the Persona stuff of what I've played, the, the way they sort of work is that, like, they milk that fucking game until the cows come home. Like, the entire, you know, hey, what do you mean? People like Persona 3? Well, let's make a dancing game. That sold a bajillion copies. Oh, let's make a chibi game on the handheld system. Like, it's just fantastic. This is how a buddy sold it to me. It's a classic turn-based JRPG, and all the games are connected. And I was like, all right, I am in. Hey, sometimes for some of us, it doesn't take a lot at all, right? See, I never knew that about Persona 3, taking in the same universe as Catherine. That's the one where I think it's, um, I think On Wings of Wind played that. Um, I've always been somewhat interested to, to try that, give it a whirl, but we have so much on our plate, you know, with these. It's just, you know, do we add another game to that or what? See, I've said that for the longest time, Wolf Slayer, that I thought, like, the Persona 5 engine was so... They spent a lot of time on it. It doesn't make sense for them to at least either either number six is going to use the same engine, which it probably would. But why not put it in the three and f um, three and four? I don't know if you'll get a full remake of four, uh, just because Golden. I think what the the work they did in the Golden, sort of putting it on Steam, that was decent enough, I guess. Right up your alley. We all have lovable alleys here, right? Yeah. I'm old, man. I, th th those are the games I grew up thinking we were running in with Beast Diaries. Yeah, I mean, it is coming out. It is coming out. They're, they're slowly releasing some gameplay stuff uh, every day here and there, so... Yeah, let's go into the manhole. Where are your parents, by the way? Yep, yep. Now, do you think... Oh, I wanted to ask this about Yakuza 7, because we haven't played it, but we know about it, right? Do you think Yakuza 7 being turn-based helped or hurt it being in the American marketplace? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that, but but I've I've heard that even for like the dancing games, like you have to remember, like they have those those protagonists and characters in those those dancing games, um, so they have an updated model that they could utilize, and they have an engine in the Persona Five stuff that they could put the dungeons in, so it's not really too much work. I remember you being the one taking uh, talking so much about this geo front or whatever, but I never actually wanted to go inside. Maybe it worked the opposite way. Maybe it worked so that Judgment wanted to be sold more, so that if people liked Yakuza, the older one, because Yakuza now just sells on its name, but if you want more Yakuza with the fighting style you buy judgment and then that builds that up as their new uh their new game right um yeah so persona 3 uh if you if you know the the dentist dentist nightmare known as tartarus it's just like a giant you know it's a school it's a giant um tower and you just keep going up the floors um and persona 4 and 5 denise um there are proper dungeons per se um they sort of are treated the same way, but they're a proper dungeon as opposed to just being one overall dungeon. I mean, you'll see when we get there, uh, when we play it. You know, it'll probably be uh, a month or so when we get into it, but you'll see. Well, yeah, you're welcome. Why is one kid dressed like... He's ready to, you know, he stepped out of his igloo and threw a manhole. And the other guy is just dressed, you know, normally. Don't you think that Yakuza just sells well based on its name? Like, unless they fuck it up, which I don't see why they would. 
but I think Yakuza is just like Persona, like it just sells on its name. I have two predictions for Persona 6. The primary color is going to be green, and they'll have a female uh, protagonist option, and I'm less confident on that second one. See, it's funny because they did the work in that, right? Like, Persona 3 Portable. Um, has a female protagonist, but then they never followed that up with uh, Infusion or uh, FES. And then, th then they even announced even later on that it wasn't even canon. Um, yeah, and she's loved by the community. Uh, FemC is female male character, female main character. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Green, eh? You know, like Wolf Slayer, I would actually, per I would actually think that there will be a female character more than there would be the color green. <laughs> no, I, I think that that opened it up to a lot of people. Green is meant for one and one character only. Link. Yeah, you kids are going to jail. Are you guys really rookies? Oh, yeah, we are. We're as green as they come. Chie would like to have a word. True. True. She'd probably kick me with her brand new sneakers. Knock my head clean off, of course. Uh, no, we are not from the guild. Ah, the Bracer Guild. What do you honestly think we'd be talking about the fishermen's? <laughs> no, we're cops. No way. Why in the world will cop? I don't know why we were down here, but we we're sent down here as like a training mission to, to test out a few things. And well, it ended up uh, turning into a rescue operation for the children. Everyone knows the police are famous for being a bunch of cowards. Nothing inspires me quite like knowing my life is in the hands of rookie cops. Yeah, we probably should have never spilled the beans that we were rookie cops. We never really had to actually tell them that, but these kids can see through us uh, pretty clearly. Like, I don't even remember in the other games of even having a mention of a police department. That was sort of like what the Bracers did, was a little bit of everything. And now to think that in Cross in Crossbell, there's Bracers and a police department. The police couldn't catch a cold if their life depended on it, apparently. Sounds like people have very uh, passionate feelings about the cops, eh? It's almost like it's fitting for now. Uh, Libril didn't really have a police department. Okay, I, I I didn't think they did. They just had the the, the Bracer Guild, right? Uh oh. We got a problem here. Oh, of course, a super large enemy blocking our exit. Crossbell is more urban, I guess. Bracers are more monster hunters and mercenaries. The company that's making Persona games recently registered two domains, 5AG uh -uh. and Persona 5U. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that's just basic company stuff, too. Even if they have an idea that will never fruition into a game, still, uh, you know, trademark ideas and trademark idea uh, 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 plans just so no one else can take it and make some community fan thing or something like that. That's pretty basic. What's the plan? Oh, come on, Randy Orlando. It wasn't something that you read in Penthouse that'll get us out of this situation? Persona 6 will take a while to develop since SMT5 is their current project, so they're probably tiding fan. Yeah, like... And even SM, uh, SMT5 was, you know, a few years in, in, in the making. 
Um, what you might see is like SMT5, like I would probably argue Persona 6 is 2023. So what you might see if we're lucky is SMT5 that comes out in November, I want to say. So you could arguably say that that's a little bit of 2022. Maybe if you get lucky, you get a Persona 3 redo or a remake to tide you over again to have Persona 6 ready for 2023 or 2024. But that's a little too far along, if, if you ask me. I think to some people, uh, Wolf Slayer, that Strikers isn't really what they wanted from a Persona game. It has everything that they offered. It has the characters and, and, and the Personas and, you know, even the look. But it's uh, it's a Dynasty Warriors game. And, and to some people, that's like, nah, no thank you. Like, I think that even shocked Nintendo with uh, their Breath of the... Or not the Breath of the... Like, with the Link Dynasty Warriors. Like, that sold a little bit better than they probably anticipated. But there are people who love those games and people who couldn't care less for those games. I have to say, I'm disappointed. Self-sacrifice is admirable, but don't be too eager to meet your grave. Uh, who is this? His name is Man! Well, that was mean. I mean, how do we know that that monster wasn't just asking for a beverage? Go on out to the bar, have a fun time. That name's Man? Man, man. He's the manliest man we know of the man department. I... Eyes up here, Tio. Relax. As someone who loves those games, I do have to say that there is no one that... As someone who loves those games, I do have to say that there is no one who loves those games. You have people who don't care for those games and people who have a, lo a love-hate relationship with those games. As confusing as that was for me to read, you're 100% correct. I think so. You were one of those people that uh, wasn't sold on Dynasty Warriors, but Strikers ended up being... Did you uh, did you play the uh, the Zelda one? I don't know why we're celebrating with Ric Flair here. Woo! This is the greatest day of my life. Thank you for saving us. But why are you here? It's probably like the kid's dad or something. I wrote a report that mentioned two kids were seen entering the Central Square's manhole, so I decided to come on down. And I realized that a bunch of moron police officers couldn't even snuff up a fight against a loser tentacle monster. Alright, let's get you home. Boy, thank God man showed up. Apparently Zelda 1 is a direct prequel to Breath of the Wild. Like the Nintendo Zelda I like how he acts like the hero without even acknowledge. Yeah, uh, just just like just like the times are now, right? Fucking police are useless. They didn't do anything. Fucking rookies. I gotta say though, this man, man, he has got some swoon-worthy hair. Like I'm jelly, and and I and and I'm speaking as a man with beautiful hair. Yeah, I, I think I tried to make sense probably a year or so ago when we when we were playing Breath of the Wilds, when Nintendo released like their legitimate timeline of everything, and it still didn't make sense. Yeah, so there is like on the Nintendo one, which I would re, you know take as canon. I, it all falls from I think it's is it from Ocarina of Time and then branches off, but though so there's one of. There's one for Kid Link, and then it goes off into their own. There's one, I think, of Adult Link, and then there's one that where Link dies or something. I, I, and I, I'm very loose with it. 
I thought you asked me that the other day, Denise. We probably will get it because I've never played Skyward Sword, but I'm very unsure of it because of the the motion controls and all that jazz. But um, but what always anytime I've ever played a Zelda game. Oh, of course, the Breath of the Wild sequel. Absolutely, I'll get that. Absolutely. I love Breath of the Wild. Loved it. Um, I've always taken it from that the Link was always not the same character, but always a, a new Link. Like, I thought, like, Wind Waker explained that. Like, a boy comes of age, he gets his green garb, he then becomes Link. It's not that Link is a continuous character. It's that through all these generations, new children become Link. Am I wrong in thinking that? Like... Polygon! Solving the Zelda timeline in 15 minutes. I feel like they still probably don't accomplish that. I always thought that Link and Zelda were two souls interlinked that reincarnate. That could be another thing. Isn't it one where Link is defeated and the two where he prevails? Yep, yep. I think so. I think that's what I read, Shire Tone. And, and and I believe the Ocarina of Time is the is the split point. The guy doesn't, but it's uh, immensely entertaining to watch. Fair enough. It's felt kind of fancy name for a fancy lady. Randy Orlando, go back to your penthouse forums. Go and read what you want. About some amputee that's getting off by shoving some other amputee thing somewhere where the sun don't shine, okay? As if anyone's gonna believe these stories. I mean, I have to say, I do like the way they're dressed for police officers. You know, no silly uniform or anything like that. As long as it's not Ben Kachura. Of Polygon. I don't even know if he still works for them anymore. That guy's a joke. As long as it's not him from uh, Polygon, I think it's all it's all okay. What in the world have you been playing Katawa Shoju in your spare time? I'm sorry? Did you sneeze while uh, typing that out there, Shiretone? He's a man's man capable of responding to any request and has earned the utmost respect of the citizens. People call him the Guardian of Crossbell. The Divine Blade of Wind, Adios McLean. So is he like John McLean from Die Hard? What did I say about your grandmother? What, your grandmother's name is called Katawawa Shoju? It's weird how they mentioned the Divine Blade of Wind. What was Joshua? Was he just the Divine Blade? Oh my god. Picture time. What's going on? Oh, he's taking all of the uh, all of the admiration. That's going to go on the front page of the internet tomorrow. Cassius was the Divine Blade. So Joshua, was he the, the, the Shadow Blade? Saving these young boys from the jaws of mortal danger. No thanks to our city's sloppy management system. Uh, what, what, what about us? We, we found him. Is this, is this, no, Joshua was just Joshua. Oh. I could have sworn he was something Blade, though. Black Fang, that's it. Not even fucking close. Uh, no, it's a visual novel dating thing where all the love interests are amputees and otherwise disabled. Oh. So I just brought up something that was, I thought, complete from my imagination, which ended up being a real legitimate thing. Oh, there's no, there's no turning back the time on that one. Just go back to the beer, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, how many pictures can you really take? You get a picture of the cops. Bad boys, bad boys. 
First mission of the team that carries the CPD's future on its back, the special support section, or as I like to refer to it as a s But we were unable to complete our mission. And as per usual, the power of the heroic Bracer Guild was able to take care of it. Took a bit, but got my second shot. Moved to July 1st. Good job, Stu. I gotta remember, like, mine is, like, in, like, six days. I'm gonna, like, forget about it or something. What was your original date for your second shot? Not crazy about going to the first Ontario Center, but it was the only option. Oh, that's quite the move up. That is quite the move up. Boy, he just buried us too. What a piece of shit. Why do I have a feeling that the police department is not going to get along with the Bracer Guild here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, you can have a... You, know, you want to have an interview with us? Or... Never mind that the reason you failed is because he stole your kill. I mean, to be fair, I don't know whether or not we would have been actually able to kill that enemy or not. I mean, but he did take it out with one one little swift blow. Irrelevant? We are irrelevant. You know, making us off as fools pisses me off. I love how Randy jumped from being pissed off to, you know what? I could bump uglies with that uh, that reporter. Well, I think we go back to the police department and uh, do a report. And that's going to take up eight years of our fucking lives here. See, I told you. I know how they work. Oh, God, my penis phone's going off. We are so stupid. Lloyd is so stupid. I mean, I, I thought Randy Orlando was going to be the stupidest character in this group, but uh, Lloyd Bannings is really giving him a run for his money. The rest of this 200-hour game is you trying to fill out a police report with little to no guidance. How do you think... How do you talk into a penis phone? The tip? Um, no, I feel like the tip is, is what you listen to and you talk into the balls. Uh, hi, this is Lloyd Bannings. More Japanese. Lloyd, it's me, the receptionist you met at the police department earlier today, that is. Yeah, the one from this morning that didn't even know I was hired. It's like all made up. How are you a detective at such a young age, right? Yeah, can you get here as soon as possible? The vice commissioner would love to have a word with you. He's very angry. What was going through those thick skulls of yours? How dare you steer the course away from the objective of your mission? How can we take a man seriously when his name is Pierre? Plot twist, the receptionist is the vice commissioner. What a fucking mustache this guy's got. And that worst part of the situation, the little mishap of yours, was exposed by the Crossbell Times. This turned into a cop drama. Keep each and every one of your mouths shut. I don't want to hear your excuses. I knew I should have been more vocal against the formation of this new division. If only that damn Sergey, again, a failure of Sergey, and tacked on so many conditions, this would have never happened. I mean, not for nothing, but look at his big fuck-off guns back there. That probably helps him take him seriously. Yeah, he probably doesn't even know how to use them, though, right? 
I like to think that the new people who follow go, this guy is great, and then two minutes later here, so you stick your penis tip into the mouth to talk to your penis phone, and then for some reason never. <laughs> I mean, has Neo taken off already? Have we scared him off? It's always a possibility. <laughs> I think I have to double down on it. I mean, for some apparent reason, you guys have stuck around. So obviously it does work for some people. I just have to figure out, does it work for more people than it does for the people who leave? Like, we should take a poll. Do we want more penis talk or less penis talk? Just change your name to Jordan the Penis Streamer. I feel that's too many letters. Listen up, you maggots. Decline your assignment to the special support section within that. Wait, what are we? What are we getting fired already? It's my first day! <laughs> yes, double down on the penis phone. Yes. You mean show actual demonstrations of how the penis phone works? I mean, my real phone can't even be a penis phone because it doesn't flip. It can only be a penis phone if it flips. What is going on on my phone? Just keep... Look at it flop though. I guess it could be a decent penis. Penises flop, right? <laughs> Dialing emergency services. Hi, I have a penis situation. We'll be there right there soon, Mr. P. Wait, so did we get fired, but now he's, like, rethinking it? Or what's going on now? No, 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 my penis doesn't flip. But I, it can't be a penis phone unless it's a flip phone. Just imagine you accidentally ring them and don't realize you have, and they're just listening to you stream. They're, they're going to break down that door. FBI, open up! You know. not gonna go well for me aren't you aiming to become a detective Lloyd personally see to it that you are placed within one of our investigative divisions I intend on assigning you roles more synergistic with your skill sets well, thank God we're dismissed on that one I mean why don't we all go to the bar have a beer the 14 year old can have a coke and we can all discuss what the fuck just happened <laughs> oh my god there's a fucking huge penis beast diary <laughs> they're just listening right now they have no idea whether to sell like whether to sell whether to send, like, a, a psychiatric unit or what. I mean, we're not going to lie. We already know that the psychiatric unit has already been sent out. I mean, we've already joked that I'm already in a psychiatric unit. This is just what, like, allows them to somehow keep me happy. So, like, this is all fake. This isn't all real. I'm in a, I'm in a rubber room. You know, with my, my hands and feet tied to a fucking bed. I'm fucking drooling 24-7. But they hook up some, some matrix thing that, that allows me to think that I'm a streamer. I can't wait till one day we become big. And, and you know, all the folks go back to my old content to see where, where yeah, I'm Jordan truly started. And they come across this stream and they go, what the fuck was wrong with this kid? It's all gonna make sense. It's gonna be posted up on live stream fails. Like this is how Yam Jordan was like six years ago, before he made it big. Beast Diary entry number thirty-one. Penis phone exists for some reason. It flips but does not flop. No, wait, no, no. So 
The penis phone has to flip, but your penis has to flop. If your penis doesn't flop, then you got problems. Actually, if you go back to old Jordan now, it's like night and day, to be honest. Like, how old are we talking? Like, you... Like, just scream out a game that's on my YouTube that I was streaming. Where we were night and day. Have I changed that much? I still think I'm old, good old Jordan. We're just a little bit more vocal. I mean, I feel like I've gotten uh, better, far better, Shire Tone. I'm a little more open. I was a little bit lower in the, you know, I mean, just, just Shire Tone, you can look yourself. Go to my YouTube and click like one of my, my older, older streams. Outside of, I think that the production value has gone up through the roof. Um... I feel like I'm just a little bit more eccentric. A lot more energetic, for sure. Hey there, rookies. Sounds like you had a tough day. Eccentric is certainly a word. Did I say eccentric wrong now as well? See, I'm saying eccentric, and then and, and she said eccentric. Eccentric. We're here again. We're always here. We're always learning. It's it's a learning stream. Thank you, Doctor Jordan. You're welcome. Ah, uh, hi, and you are Mr. Bearded Man, Donovan, Chief Inspector of the Second Investigative Division, and I'm Raymond. Like everybody loves Raymond. I heard rumors. You really do have a kid in your squad. Rude. I mean, nice to meet you two. I'm Lloyd Bannings. Behind me is the porno expert Randy Orlando, uh, a small child named Tio and Alia. Likewise, welcome to the CB Penis Department. I see. Ah, uh, what? Chief Inspector. Oh, it's nothing. Uh, don't let them get in about the penis inspection. Ali, uh, yeah, I screwed up her name. I screwed, <laughs> I screwed up her name. I didn't realize until after it happened. Um, so it's just like analysts, right? Look, until these people start fucking talking for real, I have no idea how their names are supposed to be said, okay? So we're just running with it. It's going to be liberal forever. A lie. <laughs> Analyst <laughs> Rennie. <laughs> I feel like we've scared off Neo. Although he did like my energy and he said he was going to stick around. So, Ellie, Ellie. What did I say? Aaliyah? Ellie? Aaliyah? That could be. That could be somewhat. I could see it. Bidding. These are normal names, Jordan. How in the hell? Wait, first of all, Ellie, okay? I just forgot what the what her name was. I thought it was Aaliyah, okay? I didn't realize it was Ellie, okay? Aaliyah's a real, a real name. Aaliyah, Ellie, they're all real. I fucking can't even talk. I had a stroke again. What happened to Stormy? She, she usually stands by me in all my strokes. Can't imagine how tough your job's gonna end up being. If I were you, I would have refused. Uh, isn't it about time you grew up a backbone there, I Raymond? Maybe I should hand over you to Sergey's squad too. Well, come on, Chief. Got me some slack. 
Well, it's a lot to process, but try to think carefully on whether you want to work under Sergey or not. Jordan's the kind of guy to walk into a store, see someone with, uh, hi, my name is... <laughs> Hi, can I help you, sir? Hi, stove! You absolutely can! <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm in fucking tears today. Alright. Oh, no, let's not be merging us into anything now. Wait, is Ellie the 14-year-old and the detective is asking you to go grab a bite? No, I don't think. No, oh, uh, Tio is the uh, is the fourteen year old. Strikeout. I mean, I still, I guess the creep factor is still there. I guess, right? So it's okay, at least according to to, to us, right? Boy, they were sugarcoating it. I could tell they weren't kidding about our jobs. How did we end up in such a shitty job? Like. It started off okay with the game, you know, we, we, we came off of a train, we're, we're excited about our opportunity being part of this, this, this elite group, we get sent into the geo front, some fucking bracer shows up, murders a poor monster, rescues a couple of children that we had already rescued, and now we're ended up getting thrown under the fucking bus. And then continued the mistake all the way through. So these are the products we have to offer. Ah, thank you very much. So, <laughs> you should work as a kitchen salesman. <laughs> Hi, we have these lovely things that heat up your food. Um, they were named after me and my family stove. <laughs> Holy shit. All right enough internet for today right poor Chelsea's gonna be stuck at the DMV for fucking four hours like that's like just an accepted thing right and Steve <laughs> I, can't, I can't even read these sentences <laughs> my apologies stove <laughs> I'm fucking dying here. Is it called the DMV out in Maryland, or is it, co it called something completely different? Fuck, I'm crying. <laughs> oh my god. Mushy, oh, mushy, hello, this is Lloyd Bannings. Sounds like your scolding session with the fox has come to an end. Now it's called the MVA. How weird that is, because an MVA to us is a motor vehicle accident. Hey, you got involved in an MVA over there, eh? Yeah. Oh, gotta stretch out that neck. All right, yeah, all your luggage has arrived, so I was making sure all the moving. Wait, wait. Are we moving into, like, one giant dorm room or something, or what? We have a dormitory. Okay. Don't dawdle. Oh, well, it's not a dormitory per se. It's a refrigerator box, like I mentioned three hours ago. The second and third floors of the complex will serve as your rooms. Interesting. I gotta head out, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully I can make it back. Uh, I still got at least a couple of hours to stream. So uh, head on out. Do what you gotta do, Baker. And if we're still here, we're still here, buddy. But uh, regardless, thank you for uh, popping on in and making me laugh and cry at the same time. Take care as well, buddy. Run down. It looks fine. It looks like a perfectly fine, manageable, like, 
complex. Compared to the spiffy department store. Great. We're, we're already in, in shambles over this building that, as far as I'm concerned, does not look terrible. Well, we're here at the special sports section main office here, heading on up to the second and third floors, which are now going to be our rooms forever and ever and ever. Hey, you guys are late! Sergey? That's my name. Now get your asses inside. I got questions. And don't ask me about the special sports section as just yet. Once we sit down, I'll answer any questions you might have. Got it? Good! Alright, let me get this straight. It's a division that accepts requests from the public and prioritizes the citizens' well-being. How are we not just like a... Another fancy word for the Bracer Guild. That sounds like exactly what they do. To win the hearts of our citizens, a separate division was created. One that can become... Like, why... Like, how is this just not considered, like... Uh, what's what's the word I'm thinking of? Like, it seems to me that the police have just been dumbling doofuses. So, like, we made this, this new division to sort of be, like, uh, you know, a bright spot to the community. And then our first mission fucking failed because someone from the Bracer Guild came on in and fucked off. You're probably aware of this, but the Guild is killing the CPD when it comes to Crossbell's popularity contest. A-rank Bracer Arios John McLean of Die Hard, the guy known as the Divine Blade of the Wind, you know, the guy that built that monster up up for us. He had a bunch of other powerful folk work out of the crossbow branch of the guild. So why is there a police department then? Just let the Bracer Guild take care of all this shit. Why are we involved? Well, the police and the guild are constantly compared to each other, making our flaws as an organization that much more apparent. And it's traced back on belts of the crossbow government. <clears throat> Like, I'm trying to understand, like, you know, we're the police. Are the bracers, like, private security, but also still run by the government? Like, do we still have the powers to arrest, even though we didn't arrest anybody? Like, like what's the difference here? We're to maintain public order and enforce the laws. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we're the bogus breakers or even circus monkeys. Great. So you're telling us to join a team where we'll be under fire for everyone? That's not what I signed up for. It's not what anyone signed up for, quite frankly. Why would we refuse an assignment? I mean, this guy does look like he's got some top shelf liquor in his office because you know he's a police he's a policeman so you know he's he's probably seen some shit so he's gonna need some of the the best alcohol known to man to to really stop seeing the terrible things <clears throat> as an outsider here i'd assume this unit of the police department is supposed to be a unit that isn't dependent on a random bracer's desire to work a job they don't want yeah like it seems like from the other games of being a bracer there was a side story with Charizard in the last game um, that Charizard got scolded that she was not supposed to turn down any job that came into the into the, the guild, regardless of how silly it might be or how shitty it might be. Your job as a bracer was to accept it with a fucking smile on your face and do it to your a hundred percent of your capabilities. Whereas the police are being told from their bosses, hey, if you don't like the job, then don't fucking do it. Who fucking cares? Like, so it is confusing. Yeah. <clears throat> Great. 
great. Our penis balls are in our court. Now, I for sure do not see us um, refusing this assignment. But I feel like we're going to have a, a, a conversation about it in the, in the dorms here. Of like, like, what the fuck is our future here? Like, I joined this police department to be, you know, to be helpful, and and, and we're, we're we we come across as assholes to to the greater community, right? So, arguably, like, <clears throat> like in the real world, right? Like, fuck, I wanted to be a, a police officer. Fuck, I went to school for it, but I've always thought that like I could never be one now because. The general public's reaction to police now is not what it, what it was when I wanted to be a police officer like 10, 15 years ago. So like, you know, I make the decision like, I don't want to be involved in that. Like, fuck, no. It doesn't sound fun at all. But, you know, 10, 15 years ago, it was like, uh, you could argue like firefighter and, and, and police officer were like up there. Like, you know, you, you, you could you could go and take your kid on over and, and, and have a conversation. Whereas now like uh, police are almost like feared in a way. Not that that's what the direction of what this game is going for, but it's just, it's just weird how that's, I mean, it's how it all came together. Uh, Shire to not to, I would say arguably it's not to that, same extent that it is in America. Um, it's not as bad. And I, and I, and again, I don't want to speak for, for America. Like Wolf Slayer lives there. Like it might be good where he lives. Like, I think it's, it's as many things, the, the bad, the bad minority of police officers that are doing the shitty things get the spotlight in the media, unfortunately. And it makes it appear to be a bigger problem. I don't think every police officer is a piece of shit. I think they're out there to honestly do a good job and, and do it to the best of their abilities. But unfortunately, you never hear about those people. Because they just do their job day in, day out, right? They, they, they do the expectation. What you hear about is the, you know, the police officer, you know, using excessive force or, or shooting someone unnecessarily, that type of thing. So we don't really have that here to that extent in, in Canada, or at least I can speak in Ontario. And I don't fear a police officer. Um, at all. Um, and I don't have a negative attitude towards them. But I could certainly see uh, how someone could take that. Yes, I'm also white. So I guess if I was black, uh, maybe my decision uh, would be different. My dad worked in the criminal su uh, justice system for a large part of his life and it's sad to see the shift in attitude towards police, though not entirely undeserved. A lot of it comes from police departments defending the ones that abuse their position. Yeah, like, oh, I, I get a lot of this stuff from Reddit. Not that Reddit is really a reliable source, obviously, but a lot of it falls upon... Uh, the police unions uh, and the backup and they're they're giant and, and we have that here too like the amount of times that you'll hear a story about a shitty police officer that's done something very wrong um, and then he's he's put on you know administrative leave or he's put on you know he's put on an absenteeism with pay and you know and these things take years to fix so they're sitting at home collecting uh six figure salaries uh that's another thing here in 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 in, in ontario um our police officers are paid extremely well um that's why it's relatively sought after career is they they're they're making six figures uh usually within about five five years of being on the force um i know that in america it's usually on the far lower end unless you're in like a big metropolitan city or whatever. But for the most part, even if you're a, a police officer in a very small town in Canada, you are being paid extremely well. I've watched some audit stuff from America and there's certainly some good police officers. I reckon most of them are good, but it's a powerful position in many ways. So the consequences of one being shitty are really big. Yeah, I mean, they're... 
even I, I think the same in the in the states is sort of happening here in Canada is there's the there's the push into trying to get um mental health advocates showing up to calls as opposed to just having police officers show up to calls like police you know they're 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 the call all right something goes wrong you call the police they're not trained to deal with people who are mentally ill or are having you know a really extremely bad day and are off their rocker they're 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 their 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 three hour course that they took at the police academy is not set for them to deal with that individual, but they have to make a a a, a call in split seconds if this person is trying out to harm someone or harm someone else or or what, right? So and usually that comes off poorly. And now that everybody and their mother has a uh, you know a camera and a video capable in their pockets everywhere everything is being videoed and, and getting out of context or whatever and some things are not getting out of context right like is it necessary for a cop to be kneeling on a guy's neck probably not they don't even teach that but yet where are these guys learning this i don't know so it's one of those things Like, even when I went to school, um, to, to, you know, to looking at being a, a police officer, like, it was sort of ingrained into you that, like, you gotta be a, a, a special type of person to, to want to get into the, get onto the force. And I always, I always had the broad... The broad thought of I remember my uncle asking me like why I wanted to, to do this before I had sort of gone on to college for it and like just my basic was I want to help people I think I can be that one good person that could maybe change someone's life in a day or, or, or set them in the right direction and when I look at that that statement now I still think that if I was to be a police officer I could do that but do I become a, a tainted individual because everyone else is an asshole? Is that even my job as a police officer to to do that? I would I would argue it is, but um, the more and more the older I get, the more and more I realize that it's generally just a looks like you're maybe there to hassle people. I would say 99% of the people are law-abiding citizens, but you don't hear about the law-abiding citizens. You hear about the large minority 1% because they're super loud. Right. Right. And, and, and to me, that's not worth it. I mean, the, I don't even like the fact of like, I understood it when I, when I was younger and i still understand like you know part of that comes up like i hate to think that i could just pull over some guy or or show up to a situation and and hey if that guy doesn't like me uh because i'm a police officer and, and you know what boom you're dead i don't have to worry about that at my job and and part of that just is like that easy like you know what i don't think it's worth to to that extra bit of money I would make to be a police officer to bother with that. I don't want to run into that being as a problem. Is is Randy masturbating right now? He's got to be. Randy, it's Lloyd. Pull your pants up. Can we talk for a minute? Look at his room. What the f now, if this is a bachelor pad I've ever seen, well, this is pretty fucking swanky. Dealing with problems all day can be bad for you. Like, when I take complaints nonstop for a day, it affects my mood and attitude, which can escalate to other unrelated situations. Right, and, and then you end up taking that home. Right? Which, you know, you, even like... We picture, like, none of us, I don't think, really do overly terrible jobs, right? Like, like when you think you have a bad day, you didn't have to... Your bad day didn't equal out to you killing someone or seeing someone die 
uh, or seeing someone separated in four different parts separated on the highway, right? And that's a bad day for them, right? You have to separate that, go home, smile on your face, and hug your kids, right? Like, a bad day for us is like, fuck, I had to deal with a shitty customer, or I had to deal with a couple of shitty employees, or whatever, right? Like, I have learned over my time at my job, my, my father-in-law has, has said this, and it's not really from him, but like, you know, he keeps like saying, like, don't sweat the small stuff. And I picture my job as the small stuff. It's irrelevant. To everything that goes on around me. It's just a place I go to a few times a week. I do what they ask and they give me money in return. The second I leave that fucking place, it's gone out of my mind. I don't want it to be a part of my off time, period. And that might be a shitty way to look at things. That really might be. I might never see a promotion with that attitude and I'm fine with that. I just don't want any part of it. It's not welcome in my off time, period. And I and I see a lot of people who treat their job, and I know that's sort of the way that they have to have it because maybe their position, but that ain't for me. So I'm not interested in that. I would hate to take that shit home. Yeah. One of the reasons my dad is my hero, he never bought his, brought his work home with him, and the older I got, the more I realized how immensely impressive that was. If the cost of a promotion is always thinking of work or dealing with work, I stay low level. Yeah, like, like, and you know what? To some people, they can't do that, right? They look at that as like, what, you're just going to be happy being a pawn all your life? Yeah, what's wrong with that? If the money's okay, the time off's okay, you, you get okay vacation time, and... Your work life separation is all good. What the fuck does it matter? I've seen management at my place. Do they make a few extra bucks? Of course they do. Does it appear that some of them may, may or may not work harder or what? Sure, maybe. That's the perks of being management. But I've also seen the shitty parts of it. Them having to come on in on a weekend just because no one else can. Sucks for them. Not my problem. I just show up when I'm supposed to. Right, exactly. It's, it's as simple as that. I don't have to stay up late working. I work from my time to time. Beyond that, done. See you later. I don't owe you anything. I got what your contract with me is equal to. That's it. Like, I've been at my work for, for, for many years... And I, and, and I look at it on, on the guys who've been there a little less, and, and I see a lot of things bother them. And it sucks. I hate seeing that. You try to guide the, 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 the younger people a way of, like, you don't want to turn them in. Like, it's not that you don't want to make them lazy or, or anything like that, but it's so hard to, to get them to not focus on that being, like, don't be so negative about that. You can only do so much as a single person, right? Like... If things are going bad for you, just look at the way, how can you fix it yourself? If you can't, then it's a bigger, broader problem. It's, it's, it's a management problem. You just keep doing what you're doing and whatever. Like, that's my, that's been my approach over the last few years. And, and, and quite frankly, my work life has gotten a lot better over that because I, I, Again, it, I don't want this to come off as if like I don't care because I do. I, I do care. I like my job. I like where I work. But I ain't bending over backwards for them. Because there's no point. There's no like double rainbow on the other end of it if I do so. There's also the types of people that take joy in that type of working hard. And of course the people who start their own business and have a need for passion. Yeah, like I, like, like I said, I'm not getting away. Of, like when I'm working and you know, there's there's times when I, you got to work hard and, and, and put put some uh, some little extra work into it, of course. Uh, and there's a level of appreciation from it. But for the most part, it's just like, eh, like nothing to worry about. I mean, could you imagine you'd be like these people? You have to live where you work and work where you live? Oh my god. Imagine, it feels like they're going to be on call 24-7. Although, uh, with the with the, the the liquor bottle sitting there on Randy's coffee table, I don't think he's going to be relied upon to be uh, called upon on his off time. I've thought about getting a simpler job, one where I can make okay money and just turn my brain off. 
I love turning my brain off. You know what bothers me about Randy's room? And this was a discussion in the last game. His rug. I hate that it's not parallel with the room. I'm one of those people. I can't stand it. I knew a guy in college that lived on campus in the dorms. Hated his life so much until he moved out. Turned out he was miserable simply because he lived so close to work. See, we've... We've discussed this before, like, especially now with the pandemic, and now I'm someone who doesn't work from home. My job isn't possible. I have to be there at my job to do it, and that's fine. And I don't do office work. Um, there is some of it, but not that, not enough to fill a day. But for you guys who are now sort of working from home, is that does that bother you that your, your work is invaded your home life a little bit or are you still very good in keeping it separate because i know with Stu, we've had that conversation like they know you're home like a sick day isn't a sick day anymore it's like well you're still at home you could still probably be expected to answer a few phone calls answer a few emails like so a sick day isn't even a sick day anymore that sucks I lived on campus for a few years and I loved it just because I could get up five minutes before. See, see, Shiretone's thinking the way I am. Shiretone's thinking the way I am. Now, who cares about how close you are? I, I just know that I can uh, wake up in five minutes, shower, and get to work. That's it. I just close my team viewer and walk away. I feel like Lloyd and I are... Uh, oh, no, sorry. Randy and I are having a, a really heart-to-heart -heart here. I mean, I don't know if Randy wants to be a detective here or not. I've had to rotate around my house many times or simply because having my work laptops near my personal computer means I never left work. I just turned to my chair. You mean you just pulled one of these? Woo! There we go. Hey, look at that. I'm not at work anymore. You know, like, uh, I, I agree, Shiretone. Like, I, I hate that companies somehow think that their employees cannot get sick. Uh, it, it bothers me more that, you know, you, you're, you're going to reward employees who are never sick, right? Oh, they show up every day or 100% attendance. I call bullshit on that. Everyone gets sick, okay? The fact that these people get rewarded when they come to work sick, because you know they're coming into work sick, and infect the rest of the staff, and then make it far worse, and then everyone else has got to do extra work because people are sick. It's, it's ridiculous. It's If you're sick, don't fucking come into work. It's simple as that. I don't care if you have the fucking sniffles or if you're near on your deathbed. You shouldn't be at work, and work shouldn't be bothering you when you are sick. Oh. Thank God for that. I mean, I'm happy that I have some, some nice perks. Uh, like paid sick days at my job. Um, because, you know, it's... The thought of having to go into work being sick is a, is a terrible thing. It, like, that shouldn't be something anyone has to deal with at all, but... Unfortunately, the governments aren't really... Stepping up to that. I thought that would have been a thing with, with, with COVID. Um, but, you know, they want to leave it to the employers. Employers hate paying people when they're not working. So they they see that as a lost cause. So, like, and then if you're an hourly worker, like, you're, you're probably not getting any money. So, like, then you're losing money. And then people wonder why you go into work sick. is because, well, I don't want to lose money. Like, it's all a giant circle that needs to be fixed somewhere. I still think we're a little far away from that, unfortunately, Wolf Slayer, about the the mental health days. Like I, th I think if I think if I called my work and said, you know what, I don't want to come in today, I just need a mental health day. I think they'd have questions. I mean, it's not their right to ask questions, but it sucks that you can't really still say that without 
still starting a conversation with someone. Like another funny thing is like that I think of as like I, I like whether personal days are things for people. I always thought it was comical that if hey I want to use a personal day, and then like you know if it's your boss you're asking like okay well what are you using the personal day for? Like did you not catch up here? Personal, end of the conversation. If you get X amount of personal days, then that's the end of the conversation. I'm telling you I'm using it. You have to let me use it. We're done. End of the conversation. Like, it's not up to you to decide whether that's a personal re reason that I can be off or not. Fuck. Like, employers could really learn a few things if they would just have a sit-down conversation with their employees once a fucking year outside of a review. Oh, you did great. Fantastic. Here's a dollar. Uh, technically true, Wolf Slayer. Technically true. But that doesn't stop an employer from uh, prodding. Let's put it that way. I guess it depends whether you're hated at your employer or not, I guess. I think I'm well liked, so. Right, COVID has sort of thrown in a little bit of a, a wrench in that because... Basically, anything under the sun is a, is a COVID uh, symptom. So they don't want you coming back to work if you were off with COVID symptoms without getting a test. So like if you were booking off with, I don't know, like say you had an upset stomach that was food poisoning. Well, being sick to your stomach can somewhat be a COVID symptom. So like, hey, go get a test, even though you might know, hey, I had some bad meat or something. It's so stupid. But before this, yeah, you, uh, you could just go on, hey, I'm sick. Whatever. That's it, right? Chelsea also says hello from literal hell. She's been gone for like, what, two and a half hours? It's starting to get more and closer to that four hour mark, isn't it? Yeah, like I think, like again, I don't know if this is like law. I don't know too much into it. But something like at my work, if you're gone for three or more days, uh, I think they want like a, a doctor's note or... or, or checking on in with the company doctor or whatever but like for me like the longest span of time i would work in a week is three days so if i was off for a weekend which would be friday saturday sunday that's my maximum three days i'm off for a week but i still don't have to have uh, a doctor's note i could just be off for that period of time without worrying about anything you know i could just say i'm sick off for the weekend back on in on wednesday or whatever and and that's it. In Russia, we have the greatest way to deal with personal days and days off ever since the 1930s. It's called, there are no irreplaceable people. The MVA is an hour away? Do you live out in the sticks? That I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I say that because, like I said... I'm a well-liked employee. At least I think I am. I've, I've never been asked to produce a doctor's note, but I've known others who have been, but they may or may not be thought of as problem employees. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like, you know, they're picky and choosy about stuff like that, right? I don't know. They're all completely but Oh, do you have to like book a, uh, do you have to book a, a, a time? Even though the, the government will not stick to said time and still fuck you over. So let's see, we have the Guardian Force, the Bracer Guild, and the SSS, the specialized, uh, you know, unit that we're a part of here. Yeah, like... The at will thing even exists here in Ontario, Shire Tone. Um, the one difference that I don't know Wolfsler would be able to, to compare this to, like if my work just wants to get rid of me for no reason, I think they can, but they have to pay uh, um, severance. So like, you know, there there's a mathematical equation, whether you want to get lawyers involved or whatever, but like, yeah, like if you're there for X amount of time and whatever they can't just say like unless you fuck up um 
they can't just fire you and then say like and, and you know and here's no money um if they want to get rid of you they got to pay you um and then for someone who's been there a long time it's going to cost them a lot of money so it'd probably be better if like well if you're going to give them a reason you better give them a fucking reason The fun part of at-will employment is that your employer can fire you at any point for any reason with no repercussion, but if you leave without any notification, you're blacklisted on H... Yeah, that's... Uh, I've always hated that... That two-week thing. Even to be told, like, it's not even a real thing, right? Like, if you want to leave a job, you can leave it immediately and go start another job the next day. But, oh, like, you gotta leave two weeks to be nice, despite the fact that... You know, would your work be nice? No, but... Yeah, and then you end up on, on, on oh, I, let, let, let me call up your previous employer. Oh, it looks like you didn't give them two weeks notice. Uh, we don't want that kind of person at, the, at, our, at our job here, so we're not going to hire you. Thanks. Yep, goodbye. I mean, I've literally had... Like three legitimate real jobs. I've had a few summer jobs, obviously, but you didn't have to give two weeks notice for that. Just like when the summer thing ended, like your job was done. Um, but I've always given my two weeks and, and moved on. But it was also like moving on to either something different or something better. Like, I've, like I said, I've been at my current place for like 13 years and I like it. In my previous place, I was at the Canadian Best Buy called Future Shop. I think I worked there for three or four years and I liked it there too. Just, but like it was like a basic retail job money wasn't there for you know it's 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 teenagers and 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 young adults working there before they you know, while they go to school or, or you know while they you know just somewhere they can get some hours before they move on into the real world i guess yeah but uh in america businesses are people right because you can't it, you know for for court purposes or whatever right closest thing we would have to be is a zero hour contract but even they have rights you can't just be fired out of nowhere you need to be offered a better contract after a year and employers get in trouble if there's work available yeah i feel like europe is a little bit uh, ahead of a, of a lot of things that we are over here in the uh, in the west unfortunately i think i like where randy is heading here you know are we gonna head up the strip club or perhaps or what yeah, let's hit the town and celebrate. Madame Wa'ali seems a bit too prim and proper, and kids don't belong where we'd go, so let's go and have ourselves a boys' night out. I, I thought he meant like now. People are for tax purposes because our Congress is bought and paid for. And you'll never fix that. Never. I've always wondered, like, what's going to happen... This may not be in our generation, but maybe our kids' generation. When legitimately, robots are going to be doing a far better job than you and I could ever do. Like, does it turn into just like, is everyone just on a universal basic income where corporations are just paying their taxes into it much like they would? Um, it's going to cost them less to pay into that, but... You know, what, what do we do? Do we all just become uh, streamers? Do everything we want and, you know, the businesses just run themselves? They're going to find some way to not pay in that case. Yeah, like, but then, like, what do you do? Like, that's what I'm saying is, like, in, in the in, maybe it's a couple generations. There, there will be a time, I think, outside of a very few specialized jobs, robots or computers will do everything everything so what do humans do like you like to think in, in a uh is it a dystopia what i don't know the word i'm thinking but like you know that you just get money from the from the government everyone's just you know lives in their nice you know three bedroom house you know they got a nice car they can go out and enjoy themselves and, and do whatever and there's no worry there's there's no work to go to and giant corporations that have robots, instead of paying salaries to workers that don't exist, 
they pay into a tax that's probably 50% less than what they would pay a human uh, employee that goes into the UBI that that makes the world go round. Like, I mean, you know, that, that's far, you know, removed from probably what it would actually be, but I'm just you know, spitballing here, right? If I could live in a post-work society where money isn't a thing because robots do all the jobs, I'd say yes in a heartbeat, then I could actually pursue it. See, I, that's, that's what I picture that dystopian world would would be right is like there just is no work like everyone just there's no money i, I guess that'd be the easier way to approach it Every, everyone lives like you have to find the fine term to not get into communism because it's like oh d does everyone live in community housing where everyone has three bedrooms and drives a, a you know a toyota corolla like what if i want to drive a lexus what if i want to live in a five bedroom home like okay whatever like don't don't break it down that much but just look at it as like it's just not a problem government somehow has decided to work out of nowhere now and everything is hunky-dory and robots help us live our proper lives I think there's going to be a shift where computers do everything, but humans do all the creative work. And that's where the economy will be is just creative things. And if you want to say, but robots will be better at creative pursuits then humans are already murdered by the robots. No, I think you're not wrong. I mean, even now we're seeing that like there's things robots can't do because they can't think like a human can. And I don't think they ever will. Like, like when you're, Stu's an engineer I don't know like how far that goes but like when I think of like when you're making robots and shit you're, you're, you're writing a program for a code that they're gonna react to right so I think I brought this up many many years ago and I, I I'm sure that someone has may have seen it already if you remember the uh, what's the robot company I think they're owned by Google or whatever they're like Boston Labs or something like that they had a they had a funny video uh, that that opened up the the sort of can of worms that people were sort of jumping at, and so what what the video was that they showed was that they made a robot that would be working in like a, let's say an Amazon warehouse or any warehouse it doesn't have to be, but they had this robot that picks up boxes from let's say a truck and puts it onto a shelf, right? Very basic, right? So they have the robot pick up the box and they put it in and it just continuously goes on and does its its own thing. So. At first, they had the human come on in, just the person that is working there. And what they do is they would keep shoving the box, right? Like, so, you know, the robot was set that, okay, I, I, I go after the box. Wherever the box is, I go to get it. So the human is pissing off the robot, essentially. Like, moving the box over here, or, or it's just about to pick it up, and it he would take it and move it over here. So the robot would just, you know, go back over to where the human put it and picked it up. So what, what a lot of videos were coming out afterwards, because Boston Labs didn't touch on it, but it was a little bit of tongue-in-cheek, I think this is what they were going for, is that, what if the human became so overly annoying that the human, that the robot was smart enough to realize, like, this human is interfering with me getting this box, and he keeps doing it. Would the robot decide to get rid of the human and then continue on getting the boxes? Like, kill the kill the human. Like, human is pissing me off, keeps on moving the box, causing it to take longer to get said boxes. If I get rid of said human, I don't have to worry about the human fucking up my boxes. Right? Right, so, so I guess that would be is like, what if that was a machine learning robot that could write its own programming that decided like, this human is constantly moving this box. If I fuck up this human, is it going to learn to not move my boxes anymore? Like, is that is that the thing people are afraid? Of? I don't know. Just, 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 just thinking out loud. I don't know if I don't know if universal basic income will ever work because of greed, unfortunately. Like you even look at it now. I, I think there. I think outside of the tax talk of like, well, what are you gonna pay this universal basic income from? With my taxes, my taxes are high enough. Blah blah blah. No. What if we 
replaced a few things that universal basic income could take over, sure. But let's say that's not even a problem. You're going to have people who go like, well, $5,000 is not enough for me to live the way I want to live. So I want to work and supplement my income. Okay, that's cool. You can do that. But let's just have it covered so that that 5000 covers all of your basic needs and necessities so you can live and be a happy human. And if you want to drive that Lexus, if you want to have a couple extra bedrooms on your home, you have to work and it's going to cost you. How about that? There are a lot of debates within like is that is that even possible for a robot to to learn to get rid of the the human type of thing like that's what i'm trying to figure out yes already even if you didn't give it some like let's just take that that example that boston labs makes like, I'm not talking about a, a robot that's carrying a gun or a weapon. We're just talking about a robot that's like the size of a human, 200 pounds, and doesn't have a weapon. Like, sure, it could probably murder you with its its weird hand or something. This is the video. It is awesome. Is that the one I was talking about? Yeah, like, like, those are all interesting points, Wolf Slayer, like, and, 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 and Shark. Like, everyone's bringing up some really good points. I, I love just having these philosophical conversations out of nowhere. We went from talking about penises to talking about murder robots, right? The Corridor crew made a video about it where the robot fucked the human up after he threw the box a couple times. I will find it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I've seen that one because I recognize the name The Corridor Crew. These poor people. This guy's got to work where he sleeps and drinks, unfortunately. Not a good life. Oh, so what's... Alright, so we can go upstairs, whatever this is. Is this the back entrance? Oh, we need to go outside now. Okay, well, we won't go outside. We'll go upstairs. How about that, you dummies? Yeah, I remember this. I wouldn't blame the robot for retaliating the guys being... Right, but that's what I'm saying. It's, it's like, if it was programmed with machine learning to fuck up those humans, is the robot wrong? Like, robots aren't going to fucking jail. Or maybe they are in the future. I don't fucking know. There's been a military drone that killed a human using machine learning to alter its code. Now, that's terrifying. I've always thought, though, Wolf Slayer and Chelsea can probably answer this for us. The governments are on at work on things that we can't even fathom right now. Like when you think of like uh, countries go to war, and I only I'm only bringing this up as as an example, but you think of like wars that have happened recently. It's always like I hate to pick on the U.S., but. You think of a super country like the U.S. and then somewhere in the Middle East where they're fucking sticks and stones. There's there there are laws written that one country cannot just drop a fucking bomb and just you know glass them. Okay, like from Halo. Okay, so you gotta go in, you know, you know, boots on the ground and deal with it like that way. And unfortunately, you deal with casualties. But you can't tell me that if a superpower and a superpower were going to come together at a war, like, you know, a, a China versus America type of thing, that's when you'd see the legit shit they've been working on. Or the aliens show up. You know, it could be that as well. Uh, I'm, I'm hopeful for aliens. I don't want to see wars or anything like that. But that's that's the type of thing of, like, when when that type of shit starts happening and then you start to really see what 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 countries have been working on because you are not getting anything of what has been within the last 20 years that, that's what we're at right now we're probably 20 years before of what we're actually legitimately holding up to you kill people you get deactivated so i think robots can rise against people because every logical point of view is impossible because robots can only do what they're programmed for that's why i don't like detroit being human uh, becoming human right but 
that that's like what Stu has said. Like, but with machine learning, they're learning to um adjust, right? Like they can do this on their own. They're they're writing their own code to react to things happening um in front of them, right? And you can't unwrite that code, I don't think. So that's the scary part of, of how do you go about with that, right? Part of war is tricking your enemy into hiding your tactics and tech. The easiest way to do that today. Like, the scariest thing to me is hearing about all this stuff coming out about, like, all these UFOs. And, like, you know, they're finally... Like, why are the governments just now coming out with this stuff? Is it because... They really think something's going to happen sooner rather than later and and they'd rather have the the public have at least some knowledge that the governments know that this is happening maybe yeah like the, the problem with like the like the chemical warfare stuff Stu, and i agree with you absolutely is that it needs to be internationally banned, but that don't, that ban only lasts so long until one country is like, ah, you know what, we'll still use it. So then, then you have like one country that's gone out and used it and then needs to get their hands slapped and then it fucks everything up again. And then, I don't know, do we go back 20 years? I don't know. Every machine has a switch to turn it off. If ever something happens, goes wrong, it's cut off immediately. Right, like that's probably the only safe bet is everything has an off button, even humans. Unfortunately, our off button usually is a permanent solution. But for a robot, that's a, that's an on-off switch, right? Just don't just don't program it in that they can turn themselves on. As soon as a robot of this grade notices learns that the fact they can be deactivated, they'll probably just ditch. Right? Like, how do you prevent that? That's exactly what you're saying. Even if it has an off button, if it if it's smart enough to know it has an off button, it will do everything in its power to learn how do I, how can I prevent being shut off? Wasn't that the thing with iRobot though that they broke the one law? Like, didn't they have three laws or whatever? The easiest way to prevent uh, being shut off is to make sure that they can't be shut off. Right. Like, I would think that a, a, if a robot is, is that smart in thinking, right? Okay, so it, it realizes it can be shut off, right? So then it runs through its... It's, it's CPU of like, well, why would I get shut off? And then it runs through a bajillion times and it's in its CPU of like, okay, well, I'll be shut off if I do bad things, right? Okay, so then then maybe you think, uh, Morty, um, maybe the robot just gets to a point and goes, oh, well, I don't want to be shut off. That's really bad because that means death. So I just don't do any bad things. So I don't get shut off. Hey, happy robot, right? Like, is it that simple? I don't know. I don't want to know how, how deeper that conversation gets in the brain of a robot. But I, I feel like we're probably like, you know, 20 to 30 years from like legitimately having like the iRobot robots. Not in the bad place, but I mean in the in the good spot of like, they probably just do everything for you. fail to produce results the sss will be all in likelihood be disbanded due to but wait hold on budget constraints so still that the 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 bracer guild and the guardian force will still exist but the the spike i mean quite frankly the more i'm reading this the sounds that we have three groups that all do essentially the same thing and we're fighting over essentially a popularity contest seems a little silly although bracers i don't think are paid like we are like i'm assuming because we're part of the police force we are getting a salary, so yeah, we might get cut, but whereas I don't know what the Guardian Force is, but I know how bracers work, and it's sort of like, uh, you know, you join up to be a bracer. I, you probably do get a salary based upon that, but it's, they're paid off a different way, obviously. 
No, it would go, getting shut off is inefficient for me. I'm going to delete the code that can make something shut me off or break the wire, that button. Yeah, could be that too. Then go off on a murder streak. Well, doubt I'll stay a member of the police force. We're already moving on. We, she's been here a fucking, like, what, a week? Moving on already. So what's what's the ideal career choice for you, Ellie? Aaliyah? I just hope that we can grow in a way uh, when before we make those robots, we can give robots morality and give them reason to keep this morality. It's a fair statement. They couldn't reject me since I made perfect mark. So you're going to be uh, a marksman, Allie. That's essentially what you're going to be. Blowing people away from, from years ago. Alright, I'm just going to go grab a, uh, another water or something. Uh, and go take a pee. I'll be right back. Good old grocery time, right? Must have your reasons for joining the police too. Yeah, we wanted to help people, but we can't all get in on that, can we? Perhaps it's just best to continue this talk after we officially become co- Wait, are we still not official co-workers here? Is this not what's happened? All right, yeah. Sorry, we'll continue this conversation a little bit later, I guess. Yeah. I, I just feel so bad, like, so... Like, am I legitimate the, 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 the rookie and everyone else has been here, like, and established? Their rooms look fantastic. And and mine's just like when uh, Joker moves on upstairs of of Cafe LeBlanc, you know, and boxes are strewn about everywhere, and I have a damn cat telling me I got to go to bed every fucking night. Mm 
All right. Well, time for a little self-reflection is never wrong. Oh, yet again, in every Trails game, these people just walk into their bookcases. You know, they don't solve anything, but sure. Tio's room. She may already be asleep. Well, knock on in. Let's see. She's a child, but she could be like... Hello? Spare room. No reason to mess around. Another spare room. There's a lot of spare rooms around here, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing there. Anything up on the rooftop? Hang out? Deal with a couple of shadows, perhaps? Phew. What a great view. What a world of difference this was in comparison. Like, this is, a, I want to say, was it, was it Grand Soul City? Sort of. Looks a little similar, but like God, you didn't have like the, the 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 cars driving around or anything like that. Like legitimately, not much at all. Finally home. A cat. Sorry about barge not in your home like this. No, cats always want to have a chit chat. I have a thing with cats, right? There's actually one thing I was actually curious about. I thought, wait, when I was looking at, is it the display? No. There's something, there's something about, um, yeah, the auto advance. What is the auto advance for? Auto advance text. After, voiced lines. Voiced. I'll figure that out eventually. Then again, you probably live here for quite some time. You know, cats are good. Cats are good peeps. All right, so sort of all done here. Is there a reason to go in the back room? Back entrance, I guess. Down the main floor. It's not a bad getup. I'm not going to lie. I don't I don't mind this getup. You know, the dorms aren't terrible. Tio, who we thought we was asleep... It's messing around downstairs in the, on the first floor. Checking out the terminal. Based on the Capel computer system, with it, it is possible to receive data and information from the police department thanks to the Orbal networks. Uh, what? You lost me. Uh, oh, Morty. I don't think I have any knowledge of this Orbal Network thing. I think I read something about the Epstein, again with the Epstein stuff. This does not really uh, bode well in today's world now, does it? Project began as a collaboration between the Foundation and Zeiss Central Factory. I uh, know I have not watched the new Rick and Morty. Did That just like came out like, was it yesterday? I always watch Rick and Morty as like a, a, a more of a, a, a broader thing. Like I'll, I'll take like a weekend and watch the whole damn thing uh, when a new season comes out or whatever. Like is it a se was it launched as a season or is it just like every week there's a new episode again? Where those creators are, are, are really milking that franchise. One a week. I mean, I guess because they're still on TV, it's okay. But I hate when, like, a streaming network does that. Like, Disney Plus has done that with a few things. Like, just launch the whole thing at once. Let people binge watch it. Terminal is not my specialty. I can operate this one for us, considering the future. I suppose I should become more acquainted with it. Yeah, I guess you should. Uh, I'm th I'm starting to think that uh, maybe Tio is like a, a gifted child. 
super smart, you know, Lloyd, you're playing around with toys and whatnot. Nothing wrong with that, but you gotta take advantage of when you got a bright child, right? She wanted to work here. Yeah, it would be prudent not to worry about yourself before others, right, Lloyd? Well, yeah, you make a good point. Sorry for being pushy here. Unlike that of bracers, your occupation hinges on the distrust of suspects, correct? Drawing a show out, out over two to four months helps you get to say subscribe longer. I guess, I guess. That's why I'm not in the business of the Netflix people, right? Although, follow-up argument would be is that if you can constantly have banging TV shows every two to four months to keep that subscription going, that could be the argument. Of course, it's probably a lot more costly. Like when, like when I think of myself as like, I'm not the perfect example. But why am I subscribed to, to Netflix? Well, it's because it's got a bunch of shows that I like that they're not necessarily even Netflix shows, regardless. But, like, I don't think anyone is subscribed to a particular streaming platform for one show and one show only, right? It's it's because of multiple things. You know, one thing might draw them in, but it's they're probably then like, oh, I like this, 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 and this. So if you keep those shows going at a high level of production, then they'll stick around and keep giving you money. You might even you might even piss a people a few people off if you keep dragging things out every time. Maybe I don't know. Maintenance of this tomorrow has been complete, and construction work on the orbital cables is scheduled for tomorrow. So I'm turning on in for an early night. All right, what did you say? That was a lot of Japanese that I don't even think Shiretone had an opportunity to listen in on to. Alright, I'm the only conflicted person here. And my name is Lloyd. I guess we're going to bed. Oh, we're not. Hello? Mushy mushy? Talking to people? Writing things up? What's going on? It's like the kitchen? Can't even make yourself a, a sandwich or anything? Whose swanky office is this? Can't even read the books around here. He doesn't even have any booze in here. What kind of office is that? Stu, you got, uh, you got booze in your office at work, right? All the top shelf stuff, right? That's how I assume. What a nice breeze. Oh, I can see the Bellheim apartments from here. Oh wait, who's staying there? Uh oh. Is there like some arguments going on? I bet everyone from back then has moved on by now, but I think Cecile's family is still living there. Months! Oh, Stu. Stu, I want you to do a, uh, I want you to do an experiment for me. Out of nowhere. I'm sure you have alcohol in the house, right? Do you have like a decanter? I was going to say, if you have a decanter, pour in just like, a coke or something in it right and then just start like every day just like yo rough day pour yourself a healthy beverage and it's just coca-cola or whatever could be anything whatever you want i mean even the simple one you could even make that it could be vodka and it's just water and you just start pouring yourself a stiff drink just just let the wife look at you and go what the f you got a problem Stu? Rough day! Right? And yet you'll appear perfectly fine because you're not drinking. It's 
So three years since Uncle's family took me in and I eventually enrolled into the Crossbell Police Academy where we learned all the funny noises that we could do for the Police Academy movie series. But in the end, what I wanted to accomplish after becoming a detective... Hey! Hey, look, it's the kids that we rescued from the geo front. Man, we've been looking everywhere for you. We went to the police department, but they told us you weren't around. And they told us about this place, so, uh... This, this, this is where the support section is, right? Well, yeah, this is the place. I live here. Do you need something? We thought we ought to thank you for today. You know, the, the right way. Buy you a bottle of booze. Those monsters would have hurt us pretty bad, so that's why we came over here to thank you. Or could you tell my bosses? Because they gave me a lot of slack uh, earlier on about that. So if you could, like, you know, maybe write a formal letter, uh, you know, by, by, maybe with your parents to my bosses. Uh, instead of having that bracer guy uh, really take all of it and that McLean guy. Oh, you still gotta get on me about that, right? Uh, lecture me again about McLean. You're never gonna be McLean. You'll never be as good as McLean. Blah, blah, blah. Well, one day we will be the replacement of the McLeans. The police will replace the bracers. Maybe that's why bracers are no longer a thing, right? Oh, it's okay. We live on West Street. We're fine. Alright. Smell you later. You really are a simple goy, Lloyd. That's a simple goy. Guy! All it took to lift your spirits was getting thanked by some random kids. I guess in the end, everything depends on how I choose to face my feelings. Word of advice, Lloyd. To be a man. I thought they were going to go with the Ric Flair saying there. You got to be willing to tackle the issues you're facing head on. Follow your heart and intuition and grasp the truth within your own two hands. If you can do that, you'll be able to see what exactly it is that you want to do. Yeah, he's right. Back to it we go. Uh-oh. Better go answer the phone. Look at him run. That's some dedication right there. Hi. Ah, uh, Moosey, Moosey! Ah, uh, you've reached the Crossbell Police Department. Lloyd? Lloyd? Is that you? Uh, Cecile? Uh, when I contacted the Police Department, they told me to call this number. The Special Support Section! Is that you? Oh, well, I know nothing's official, but... Yeah? No, 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 don't beat yourself up. I, I, I should have gone to greet you when you arrived at the station. We can meet up once you're able to get some time off. No, no, that's no good, Lloyd. I want to meet now. How can you be so distant as someone who's practically your sister? All right, well, we'll find to make some time. Let's go make sure to see Uncle Miles and Aunt Layette tomorrow. Uh. Mom and Dad have been really worried about you all this time, too. But I'm happy. You finally have come back to Crossbow. Do we go off on, on high notes here? Well, folks, are you up for it? Besides, you're the one who dragged me into the CPD in the first place. You want me to recommend you to the first division, eh? Benefit from someone with your combat prowess. Uh, yeah, I'll pass. I'd rather sign up for the Guardian Force again than do that. Less paperwork and more action, Jackson. Wait, so did we just lose a member already? Like that? Alright. From here on out, I intend to work on things that actually make a difference. 
Not at all. Though on a side note, the Orville cables are scheduled to be wired this evening, so would you like me to set up the terminal as well? Oh, please do. Yeah, thank you. Well, Mr. Bannings, you took those skills and used them to ace the CPD's detective talent. Are you too talented for this team? These guys aren't nearly as qualified as you. A cop like you will find success in whatever division you're assigned to. Hell, I bet no one here would even blame you if you walked right on out that door. No, none at all. I'm happy to be part of the Chief Sergey. All right. All right, you have the day off today, and from tomorrow onward, you'll be working your asses off. Terminal is all yours, T.O. Mr. Bannings. Ellie. Royan Day. T.O. As of today at 9 a.m., I officially approve and acknowledge your new assignments. Welcome to the support special section. This even though I screwed that up, it's okay. Boom. Look at that. A thousand mirror. How nice of them. I don't think that's enough to buy, like, anything, quite frankly. Faceless people. A guy like him passing this. Oh, God. Who has died now? Uh, the police do nothing. We couldn't catch a cold. That's why everyone hates us, apparently. Wait. Is this, is this my... Am I the younger brother? Lloyd, are you feeling alright? Please don't push yourself. I know you haven't been sleeping much recently. I'm just sorry that you've had to go out of your way like this. I should have taken care of all of this myself. Besides, Guy was my, well, he was my guy. So you can stand on your own two feet, I'll stand by your side. God, how long ago was this? Welcome back, Shiretone. What did you pick up for groceries? Damn it! <laughs> 32,000 points you fed into this damn thing. Jesus Christ. Healthy stuff for tomorrow. Fries for today. Wait, fries aren't healthy? I think fries can be a healthy alternative. Well, potatoes aren't healthy. Sure, if you're not going to fry them, sure, I understand. But, uh, well, guy, I got a long way to go to catch on up. I was assigned to this weird division, penises and all that, but keep watching me over. I'll be back. Time to get started. What do we got for our first job, Mr. Sergey? Grab that detective notebook. Let me just flip on in here. Wait, 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 we don't have badges? All right. Investigation report. Lloyd, your turn. Investigations are to be carefully and thoroughly documented, and an investigation is assigned to you. Record its status, keep track of progress in the detective notebook. Could you imagine, like, note-taking was actually, like, a legitimate part of this game? Like, you'd be losing your fucking mind. Well, 
We're a little different from other divisions. Aside from your standard investigations, you're assigned to what we like to call support requests. Oh my god. Call it whatever you want. They're all the same throughout each game. Moon doors, star doors, guild requests, support requests. It's a giant computer. I heard that's what Stu's computer looks like after he bought a new one. Isn't that the terminal that you were busy hooking up the Orbital Network to? Yeah, all finished, man. Well, look at that. Well, aside from the official missions from the department, we can also receive official receiving submission requests. Oh my god, I'm all over the place. Uh, think about requests coming from citizens, tourists, heck, maybe even the government. They'll just send us jobs. Seems like you're very excited about these. I mean, all I know is like from the previous games, I know I'm going to have to do all of them. So that's like, to me, it's like, all right, you know, I know they're optional, but no, we're, we're, we're not going to let this bracer guild snatch up any of these fucking things. They're all mine. Well, we're on a much smaller scale, but when the department's busy, they might force you to help them patrol in the city, looking for meth, cocaine, whichever it may be. All right. Why don't you take a look for yourselves? But that level of excitement is going to have to wait for another day, ladies and gentlemen. I got the little guy coming home soon, and I got to go pick up uh, Mrs. P soon. Got to get a few things together. Fiddle around the house. What a fantastic day to start up. Arguably a new series, but not a new series, but continuing on. Um, everyone have a pleasant day, as Kenny Omega says. I'm trying to think for tomorrow. Um, I know the wife wants to do a couple things, but I still think I'll be around. I'm off tomorrow. What game it will be, I do not know. We're still in the middle of this. We're feeling it. There's options. That's all I know. Shire Tone, Stu, Denise, Baker, Chelsea, Wolf Slayer. Nax, Nox. Eventually, I'll get that name. Lovable people. We'll see you uh, hopefully tomorrow. As always, as Kenny Omega says, ladies and gentlemen, goodbye and good night. Stove. <laughs> Bang. See you later, stoves. All the best, guys. Have a good one. Fucking stove. <laughs>